myself before the three heads of Umungene Kingdom. Please do come inside. Uh, Belinda, we bring you an important message. And it is one that must be delivered standing. It is not just a message. It is an important instruction from the three heads of the three major clans of Umungene. You are the one betrothed to the crown prince of the land. Based on what has happened, you must reconsider that position with the utmost urgency and importance it demands. Yes. Um, I, I'm confused. What are you telling me? You must not proceed with plans to marry Prince Gedinubo. Yes. What? What have I done? You've done nothing wrong, my dear. This is just for your good. Truth is, the prince can no longer be trusted with the throne of Umungere or anything that had to do with politics in this kingdom. By the kind of politics he has decided to start playing, he has become an enemy of the people. And we, the elders, we have decided to cut him into sight. Is this about kingdom politics? I, I love the prince and I love him dearly and, and all I want is just to be a wife. One who does not interfere in the politics of Umungene kingdom. It has everything to do with you, my dear. Because you're a daughter of Umungene. Our daughter. If you ignore this warning and continue seeing the prince, you will not only lose your relevance in Umungene kingdom, you will be removed from women assembly. And we will make sure women excommunicate you from even basic interactions. Yes. Isn't that serious? Very, very serious. A child who decides to attack the unknown must know that the weapons of the unknown are unknown. That is why they are unknown. Aju aju weli na kpata ya ya wem. Ife okenye tuku anafu mata kuroto manfu nate. Now listen. Afu ikuru na ibu okenye. Ma ikwu anaro na ibu mata. Utu afu ikwu we are free. Oh, oh, I am making. My love, what have you done? Can somebody talk to the priest of the land? Can somebody talk to the priest of the land? Can you kill it? Can I put us in an alley? Can you kill it? Can I put us in an alley? I'm the loyal, my very good friend. Uh, sincerely, I must tell you that you worry yourself. My prince, why are you not taking me seriously? The rumor is everywhere. The three elders who are the village heads of our three major clans that oversee the affairs of other smaller villages are out to get you disqualified. Why are you not bothered? What makes you think that anyone can strip me of my inheritance on the way? What gives you that impression? That is not possible. Ikedinibu, do you even know these elders? Yes, I know. I know all three of them, but I'm also in the position to give you the confirmation that may make you relaxed. I am the heir to the throne of Umungene Kingdom and there is nothing anyone can do about it. Maybe there is. See, I am suggesting you do something like calling them for a meeting you need to confront those elders. Sitting back here in the palace and doing nothing is not an option. I have made up my mind. It's people Why are you not talking? What do they come to say? Mother. I'm very confused. I don't understand why the elders were threatening me to stay away from the prince. Is that what they said? I am confused. 
summed it up with a proverb I am still struggling to understand. Which proverb is that? Let me quote him. A child who decides to attack the unknown mm -hmm. must know that the weapons of the unknown are unknown. That is why they are the unknown. Mother, what does that mean? Hey. Are you... Are you sure the prince has not committed an abomination? Mom, how can you say a thing like that? Because those men are not ordinary elders. Because those men wield a lot of respect and power in Umungene Kingdom. For them to summon courage to come and tell you. <laughs> that means there's problem. There's no problem, mother. And they came to order you to stop nursing the thought of marrying the prince? Linda. <laughs> hey. Well, let's wait for your father to return. To me, something is wrong. Already wrong somewhere. Father, I don't get it. Well, trust me when I tell you that I know why the rumor is making the rounds. I have bid my intentions now to these elders. There are key elements of our tradition that I intend to bring back. But you see, liars and men who sit on abominations would not be happy will not be comfortable with it. And that is why they fight. Hmm? And you are going to sit back and allow them to bring on the fight? Oh, please don't do this, my friend. Try and push them back before they force you into defensive. Wow. <laughs> the one who makes my world. I'm Ali Chamwa. <laughs> Kedu, how are you? Belinda, 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 calm down. Calm, calm down, calm down, calm down. All right, listen, I want you to remain calm. Okay? I'll be with you shortly. Yes, I'll be on my way right away. What happened? That must be your fiancé. Um, I'm uh, I'm sorry that we'll have to cut this meeting short, but I promise you that you and I would have to sit down again so that um, we can round off this stuff that I have to run now. <laughs> Why they would do this? These men are not serious. They're not serious at all. Even if they have a problem with me, they have no right whatsoever to smuggle it into my personal life. Okay. What problem do you have with them? I don't know exactly, but I am hoping that it's not what I suspect. Talk to me. What are you suspecting? I want you to promise me that all of this going on will not get you agitated. I am already agitated. You need to hear the proverbs they used on me. I, I didn't even understand half of what they were saying. Forget the elders and forget the proverbs. I'll handle them. I promise you that I shall get to the root of this. 
can take care of it. But you have to be careful. You have to stay careful because we don't even know what they are planning. I'll be safe. Okay, come here. I have to go now, I have things to take care of, okay? Sweetheart, let me go. I have to take care of things, okay? Look at me. You know that I will always love you. Right? Let your father know that I was here. Send him my one regards. Okay? Okay? My one regards to him. We'll be fine. You can go inside. I'll take care of things, I promise you. Come on. Go in while I watch. <laughs> Sweetheart. We'll be fine. You have to trust me. Hmm? Okay? Hmm? I have to go. I have made up my mind. My brother told me he would not be going out today. So what happened? I don't know my princess. He was outside with him today, then he left. He left? Hey! We saw my very beautiful sister. Eh? Waiting by prince. Dialo. Asandinze. The most beautiful princess of whom I'm gonna kill her. My lovely sister. Eh? The one in whom I am well pleased. You are looking beautiful. Thank you so much, my brother. But you are praising me to hide something. I'm sure of that. That's not true. There is nothing to hide. Uh -uh. I know you. I know this face very well. Now tell me, what is it? My lovely sister, your brother has had a very hectic day. He's just tired. I've just returned home so that I can retire early to my room. By the way, I know how you love to look after me. So when the meal is ready, let them know that I can bring it to my room. Eh? It's fine. Other than that, I'm good. Brother of mine. Asanze. <laughs> Asanze. You look elegant. Thank you. Asanze. He is retiring so early to bed. What seems to be the problem? You don't look good. What happened? Dad won't even let me discuss anything. He won't let me discuss the topic. Says he's tired this night. Is that why you look this angry? Tomorrow will soon be here. And he will listen to you and definitely do something about it. But mom, he sounded like he already knew what I wanted to talk about. He won't even let me speak. Because he is tired like he said. Give him till tomorrow. Go to bed. Your 
quite early. But no problem. My prince, I am not. I came here because I am a concerned friend. Um, I tried to reach you all through the night, but your number was not available. Oh yes, it's still switched off. And it's on purpose. A call came through um, from one of the elders yesterday and I was not in the mood to answer his questions, so I turned off my phone. And it's going to remain that way until I get a chance to speak to the people that I want to meet today. Oh. Um, what happened with Belinda yesterday? Hmm. Would you believe me if I told you that the elders visited Belinda yesterday and gave her a strict warning to stay away from me? Ha! Ah, Ndulue. A battle line has been drawn between Prince Ike Dinebo and the elders of Umungene Kingdom. Um, my prince. These people are looking for my trouble. Um, my prince, calm down. This is indeed a serious matter. Could you be lenient enough to explain to me what happened? I mean, was it the ghost that rejected you or what? The gods cannot reject him who they have named king. I am the crown prince of Omongane Kingdom. I cannot be rejected. I like to think that this whole thing started when I told Zechijoke about my plans to restore the ancient process of installing anyone who is interested in becoming a member of the prestigious Zenozo group in our land. So, my prince, I must tell you, everybody in Umungene kingdom is proud of you. And I, I believe your father, the late king, will be at rest wherever he is. Yeah, thank you very much. And I'm also very happy that um, all necessary rights um, associated with the burial of the king was properly carried out. And my father properly laid to rest. I am indeed very happy. <laughs> Prince Ike Dinibo. Mm -hmm. You have this strong respect for our custom and tradition. And I must tell you, I am of no doubt that you will make a greater and better king than your father. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much for the kind words. Yeah. I really appreciate it. <laughs> um, culture and tradition is our way. We're Africans. Uh, it is the way that our forefathers lived, and it was peaceful. Of course, yes. You see, and that is why I have decided to restore the ancient practice of Ekamanile, making a mark on the tongue of the initiate for anyone who indicates interest in becoming a member of the prestigious Zenozo group. That would be my first assignment once I become king. But, but why? Why will you do that? Why not? Of course, everybody knows that Umungene Kingdom has far grown beyond past that era of, our, uh, of this uh, unholy uh, initiation. You can't do it. See, even your father did not uphold that, that, that fetish uh, belief and did not put it into practice. So. Why all of a sudden you wake up and begin to nurse that plan? Or uh, have you backslidden as a Christian? Let me ask you, why do we still perform all the rites associated with the passing of a king? Tradition is tradition, it's our way. You see, Nzenozo has nothing to do with Christianity. That is the line that I want to draw. Zenozo is older than Christianity. You know. Hmm? As we do not interfere 
with the knighthood process of the church. The church and Christianity must not interfere with our cultural and traditional heritage of Onzenozo. Mm, now you can see, you have really made your research. <laughs> it is not about research. <laughs> it is a glaring truth that we have chosen to ignore for so long and then we're dealing with its consequences. But I tell you this, Things shall not continue that way in my land. Immediately I emerge king. My prince, I would rather be going. Thank you for stopping by. Eh? So I believe that that is the foundation of the problem. This whole thing, because after that, um, the elders, mainly the three elders, um, that had the three major clans of Umonga, for some reason, have become cold towards me. Mm. So what is this ancient practice of Nzenozo? Ah, Wendulue. You see, Nzenozo is an establishment, an institution which apart from the prestige that it confers on members, was created for the administration of justice in our land. Ndulwe, in the original times, anyone who wants to become a member of the prestigious Zinalza in Oumungene would have to stand on the Umbume of Umbume. And a cut would be made on his tongue. And the blood from that cut must drop on the stone upon which he's standing. That is how it is done. Ah, my prince, don't you think this is really fetish? <laughs> this is a hidden practice, you know. Umungene is one of the many towns practicing Christianity now. To the best of my knowledge, you are from a Christian family. Your father, the late king, was a Catholic member. Relax, Ndudu, let me enlighten you. Zenozo has nothing to do with Christianity, but has everything to do with our tradition and heritage as a people. The ancient initiation is a covenant that ensured that initiated members could no longer lie or at any point subvert the cause of justice. Remember what I told you from the beginning, it was created for the administration of justice. <laughs> You have not told me anything at all. <laughs> Nze, what have I done to you? Why are you doing this to me? Nze, you are old enough to be my father. Oh, oh, forget about my look, but I'm not your father. Eh? I'm not your father. Something else can still happen in between us. <laughs> Easy to solve your problem. Thank you. Uh, come and meet me in my hotel room tonight. I will still add more for you. Just come. Okay? <laughs> this is it. Look at you. Amara, this is it. You should be ashamed of yourself. What have I done? Why are you pointing at me? Hey, Amara, be going. Don't listen to this village church rat. Church rat? Yes. A village because church you want rat. to take my girlfriend. I'm a church rat. Look at you, old man. By the way, why should I be here listening to a fool like you? What's wrong? What is going on? What is, what is going on? What, what wish is this? Yes, yes.
Chidi. Prince of my land, thank God you are here. What troubles you? My prince, my heart is pained. I'm hot deep down. He just collected my girlfriend and oppressed me with his power. Someone oppressed you with his position and power. Who could that be? Zobiora. He just snatched my girlfriend. I have been suspecting them. But right now and here, I just confirmed everything. The same one Zobiora, the one that I know. Yes, my prince. Those useless men are nothing near the Zenazo. A bunch of idiots destroying this community. Um, calm down, Chidi. I, I hear you and I feel your pains. Eh? I know you're hurting. But let me advise you. Know it today that a woman who is made for you would never leave you. No matter how much is placed on the table. Do you hear me? I know you're hurting, my friend. But I also pray that the gods bless you with a better woman. Huh? Remain calm. Remain calm. Remain calm. My prince, if only we still have the truth in this community. The truth is dead. The mighty now oppress the little ones like us with their power and money. Too bad, my prince. It's too bad. Chidi, your allegations are weighty. <laughs> The truth is not dead in Omongenechi. Eh? I pray that God will keep you alive so that you can live and witness the restoration of the truth in our land. Thank you, you my prince. Eh? Yes, my prince. William take it easy. Thank you, my prince. I shall handle this. Eh? Go home. Son, your face is not okay. Uh, what is the problem? Father, there is something I would like to discuss with you. All right, go on. I hear that you are about to confer the prestigious Zenon's or title. on one of the elders in a few days? Of course, yes. He is one of the industrial sons of Omungene. And that young man has really made us proud in the past. Do you have any problem with him? Father, why do you allow these things happen on your watch? I don't understand you. Father, what happened to the ancient process of initiation into the prestigious Zenozo group? But the reason I'm asking is simple. If you have paid attention, you will notice that the Zenozo has now been reduced to a mere chieftaincy title that can be conferred on anyone who can afford it? No, come on, son. You are more educated than this. I don't expect you to still believe in that hidden practice of Zenozo title like Eka Manila or so. Huh? I'm still a Catholic member. I'm also Catholic. I'm your son. <laughs> So that makes me a Christian like you, Father. Yes. But a white man cannot take our tradition and culture away from us. But I don't know, man. It is what makes us thick as a people. I know. I know. That's our value. You know that the Zenozo has nothing to do with Christianity. Okay. Nothing at all. Okay, if the people insist that they do not believe in the so-called heathen practice, then let them stop taking the title. 
Because that is why we have right now a crop of rotten and abominable members of Unzenozo and Omungene. Dad, look around you and see what is going on. And these men call themselves Unzenozos. Unzenozo type. Dad. I can't understand you. A few minutes ago, I got a report by a young man who was pained, very disgruntled, and I inquired what the problem was. And he told me that Uzobioro and Uzenozo took his woman from him. I thought that was quite alarming. And then I cried further, only to find out, Father, that Uzobiora, a titled man, had offered this girl money, took her to a hotel, and slept with her. Dad, it would interest you to know that the girl in question is the same age as Nzobiora's last daughter. That is exactly what I'm talking about. Are you serious about this? Dad, bring back the ancient practice of Nkamanile. Because if you don't do that, Father, these men will destroy Omongene before your very eyes. I will look into your complaints. But Omongene has evolved beyond that practice of the ritual of Eka Manile. This is a new age. Eh? And that practice, that old practice of ritual, or those titles, something, should be allowed to fade into oblivion. Uh. I will always disagree with you on this, Father, but you hold the aces. This is one of the problems I have with you. I do not know how many times I am going to tell you this before you will start appreciating that what I am telling you is the truth and nothing but the truth. What exactly are you telling me? Ikedinibo, you are too blunt. It is my style. Do the way And it works for me. I do not believe in running around in circles and beating about the bush. That's not who I am. Do the please. I do not wish for you or anyone else to preach anything else to me. Oh, do not try to dismiss me, for you know I will not give you the space. Fine, you have good intentions, no doubt. But you should have waited until you are crowned before letting anyone know of your intentions. You should know this evil men will resist you with all the weapons at their disposal. Oh, well, I chose not to play that way. Because I'm not a cunning man. I'm sincere. I'm fighting for a just cause. I'm fighting for what is right. And the gods of our land will not let me down in front of my enemies. I do not know what may happen tomorrow. I am scared. But I do not want you to lose the throne. Mainly now that Umungene International Market is about to be commissioned. Ikejinibo, you are destined to be a king sitting on money. You shouldn't have started anything that will see you lose out. I will not lose out, so long as we have the gods in Omongene. The gods of justice. I am not afraid. And I shall not be let down before my enemies. We are talking of the elders that no longer discuss the affairs of the gods of Omongene. Tell me, how are you going to ever flog them into line? 
Und du nur immer kämpfen. <lacht> Have I ever told you that one of your most beautiful attributes? It's your coinage of words. Eh? Flog them into line. Because that is exactly what is going to happen. Eh? They shall be flogged into line by the gods that they have abandoned for reasons they cannot even explain. They shall be flogged into life. Nine. I am not practically happy the way you're handling this issue. And how am I handling it? The elders came here and told our daughter to forget about her marriage with the prince with the threat that if she allows herself to get married to him, she will be excommunicated from Umogene, Women Assembly. And you're not doing anything. Why don't you want to discuss this with her? And that's supposed to have told us something. The men that came here are not just elders. We are talking about three men that practically rule this kingdom. Because they rule this kingdom in Nye. We are going to allow them to ruin our daughter's happiness with their politics? Hello, Putife. Why are you not handling this like the man of the house? My daughter, with what is going on, you don't need any sweets here to tell you that you have to make up your mind fast on leaving that prince. He is not good for you. Says who, father? Is this why you have been avoiding me? You have gone to discuss with those elders and made up your mind on this? The only thing that can make a man relevant in his kingdom is to understand where politics is shifting to and he urgently shifts to that side. I am an cheer in this kingdom and I am not going to go against the man and cut. Father, I will not leave the prince. I love him dearly and I intend to stick with him forever. Mm. Mm. <laughs> we shall see. I have no Listen, you see, one thing I learned from my father is that no matter how much pressure I find myself under, I do not get distracted at all. <laughs> Walk and relax, eh? Relax. I shall be crowned king of Umungene Kingdom when the time comes, and nothing will change that. Um, listen, I would have to call you back. My very elegant sister just strolled in. Uh, uh, let me give her some attention. I'm gonna. God. Asandinze. <laughs> huh? Asa daddy. Amali chamu. What troubles you? You're not smiling at all. Uh, is it that you woke up on the wrong side of the bed? You refused to tell me what the problem was. Now I have managed to find out. So tell me, what do we do about it? There is something I am trying to understand here. Are you telling me to my face? That you will still go ahead and marry him. Even after knowing the crime he committed. Father, I will not let you or anyone else get this twisted. He did not commit any crime. Are you not going to call your daughter to order? Why is he insulting my personality? Father, I'm not insulting you and I never will. But you are working with the elders against your own daughter and that is not fair. Calm down. We clearly need to understand what is going on. There is nothing you have not understood. Oh, you are talking back at me because you are in love. No problem. You will know the true meaning of love if you fail to adhere to the elder's instructions. Nonsense. Nonsense. 
let me let, let me come back. More here. I actually think you're following this the wrong way. That is not how to talk to your father. I'm sorry, mother. But is it not obvious that the elders have briefed him? How would you know? Your mates are out there building careers for themselves and you're here talking back at your father because of the man. I do not like it. Mother, I, I, I thought you were with me. Yes. But once we are exposed to spirit arguments, we're supposed to change. Don't tell me you're not blinded by a man. No, mother, I, ne I never said I was blinded. I, I love the prince. Our marriage was scheduled to take place as soon as I passed out from NYS. And now that you have passed out, and we are getting prepared, the elders ruled that it would no longer happen. Why don't you concentrate on getting yourself a job? I, I can't believe you're the one talking, no. Well... I finally listened to your father and I agree with your elders' decision. If he wants to go back to hidden practices, he should find a hidden to marry. We're Christians, aren't we? Excuse me. I can't believe people can change this fast. So you really want us to sit here and discuss these men? They are not just men, my brother. These are men that can go all out to achieve whatever objectives they have set out for themselves. You know exactly how they operated while our father was here. So the least you could do is to try to have a problem with them. Fear not. But let me give you this assurance. I can handle this man. There's nothing to worry about. All right, they're just being insensitive. That's all. From what I gathered, it is not as basic as you sound. As sounds, it is very basic. What am I asking for? That I want to reenact the ancient practice of ekamanile, making a mark on the tongue of anyone who indicates interest in being a part of the prestigious Zenozo group in Umugele. That is all I've asked. So this is true. I was actually briefed, but I really wanted to hear it from you. How can you ever know such ambition? It is not an ambition. It is a movement that would entrench the truth in our land. Asanze. You're a princess, look around you. I see the crop of Zenozors that we have, a bunch of losers, liars, fosters, and deceivers. They have watered down the process, chippened it, monetized it. I made it available to anyone who can pay for it. Obrok, I see me. It is not right. All right? That nonsense has to stop. I honestly cannot believe this. That a well-traveled and a learned man like you, a graduate of Florida State University, would think of such? Even the Western people you talk about, Asa, these people have not ignored or neglected their culture and their ways. What culture are you talking about? That the development you would bring to your people during your reign is to bring back a forgotten pagan practice. That forgotten pagan practice will foster unity, peace and justice in our land. It is a good place to start. I refuse. I refuse to accept that. What is wrong with you? I mean, what makes you think that we do not already have that in this kingdom? You have to think about this again. You honestly have to. 
Because you cannot fight those elders. You will never win over them. I rest my case. I have made up my mind. If I be more uh, Biora, judging from all I have observed, I think there must be something else we must invent to frighten her. Something else like what? What we said is not even a threat. It's a statement of fact. If she disobeys us and allows that idiot to marry her, should we be excommunicated? And I'm telling you that my daughter is not bothered about being excommunicated from the Umugene Women Assembly. To her, the body does not put food on anybody's table. That is what she thinks in her ignorance. But soon, she will understand that there are a lot of things that are superior to food. If any man decides to undermine the wishes of the elders in council, he will be crushed. And anyone who follows him must be crushed equally. Anyway, I will still talk to her as we speak right now. They are so attached to each other and it is not easy to get them separated so fast. Okay. Like I said, I will try. You are truly a different breed of woman. I don't know what that means. You flaunted the elder's instruction and you still came to the palace to see the prince. Only a strong woman can do a thing like that. My princess, this is not about strength. I, I love the prince mm. and I will support him in good and in difficult times. Wow, I'm impressed. Thank you, my princess. But you still have to talk to him. He cannot win the fight against the elders. He should stop this madness and ascend the throne in peace. Okay, my princess, but you don't have to be upset at your brother. I, I know he has good intentions. I, I'll talk to him. <laughs> Obviously, I wasn't expecting anything less. For in truth, I know you will always support him. Of course. But I'm supporting him because he has good intentions and he wants to make our kingdom better. I am very, very disturbed with his long silence. He has had what we did, and still he has not called or visited any of us. That is not good enough. I don't know why that will be a problem to you. Is it ever possible for him to be a king in Umungene without our approval? He has been discussing with all the youth leaders. Who told you that? I am telling you what is happening. And we must confront him on that. Confronting him with what? That will order the halting of his marriage to Belinda? That will not make any sense. I think we should make him understand clearly that he is no longer going to emerge king in Umugene Kingdom. That can only happen when we have decided on who to crown. As long as we have not settled that, uh, that will be making a big mistake. I'm really scared. Why are you scared? Because this whole thing has become more serious than I thought. Don't worry yourself. Things will, um, things will fall into place. Okay? And your sister? She doesn't even support you. She doesn't even support your radical reformation. Uh, so that, listen, this is not a radical reformation, all right? It would have been radical if I am introducing or smuggling in something that is totally unknown to my people. What I am doing is restoring a practice that some people connived to destroy. Why? Because they wanted shortcuts. That's what I'm doing. <laughs> 
Yeah, but your one and only sister doesn't even support you. I wasn't Are banking you on Asanze's support. Whether or not I have her support is immaterial. Hmm? I know that you're doing the right thing. And you have my full support. You see why I call you my world? <laughs> I don't have to talk too much for you to get me. Thank you. This is why you're different from the rest. Hmm? Thank you for standing by me again on this one. Oh, hold on. oh my tax is here. You know I'll miss you, right? And I'll miss you too. Hmm? Come here. Take care of you. I will. I'll call you. Thank you. Somebody talk to the priest over. Can somebody talk to the priest of the land? Can somebody talk to the priest of the land? Kili kili kana bupo se na na ya li elu o ki o koko. Kili kili kana bupo se na na ya li elu o ki o koko. Seriously, that stubborn prince is a very big issue for us. Even with all the threatening uh, signal we, we have given. I mean, um, I expect by now that he will come on his knees begging the elders. Exactly my point. Mm. Honestly, I thought by now he would have come cap in hand begging us. But rather, he is ignoring us with contemptuous disregard as if we are nothing. I don't know what he likes. Uh, my fellow elders, I think what we should be discussing now is how to curtail his excesses. His excesses? I think. Let us give him an ultimatum of two market days and make it abundantly clear to him that his family will no longer produce the king. Mm. Mm. Talking of another family producing the king brings a question. Mm. What about the chief priest? The chief priest? The chief priest is only the eye and mouthpiece of the ancestors. He is not a kingmaker. And uh, we cannot allow him to get involved in the politics of Umungena. If he needs money for sacrifice, we make it that available to him. But if he wants to get involved in the politics of Umungena, we will resist that. Mm, the same goes to Ibezim, the youth leader. Just let us see how we can get him on our side. If he needs money as well, we make money available for him. To him. Um, Zubiora, I met a Lopotifa, yes, on my way to this place. And he told me he was coming from here. Uh, yeah, I invited him. And I especially told him to get his daughter stay off the prince. I even promised him that the next king will marry his daughter. And I want us to make it a confirmation in case if he asks any of you. <coughs> anyway, that's a brilliant one. <laughs> or oh, what do you think? <laughs> Thank you. Let me get water for you. No, I'm fine. I'm fine. Mm. You look so tired. The elders are not happy with the prince. We all know that already. Judging from what is going on, nobody should be happy with him.
left this house? Where are you coming from? Good afternoon, Dad. Good afternoon, Mom. I have told her not to leave the compound until we understand what is going on. But you know, Blenda, she will not listen. Young lady, where are you coming from? I, 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 we're going to the palace. Palace what? Oh! That means you don't heed to the elder's instructions? Are you not ashamed of yourself? That you are in love with a madman? A young man that claims to be well educated and well traveled, proposing such hidden practice? Is that not enough reason for you to know that he has gone mad? He has not gone mad, Dad. He hasn't gone mad. Then he must be consuming any of the banned substances. That will be the only conceivable reason for anyone to nurse the thought he has. Father, you're judging him in a hurry. He is a decent man. A young man who seeks to destroy the very foundation of his own town is the one you qualify as decent. He's hmm. a decent man. He's just being misunderstood. Oh, you are the only one that understands him. Good. Very soon, you will stop leaving this house. But then listen to me. I don't want to see the prince anywhere close to my house or see you anywhere close to him. If you do, you will not like what I will do to you for flouting my orders. Nonsense. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. My presence. Are you just going to sit there and say nothing, mother? Tell him Ike Dinigo is a noble man. A pagan man will be more appropriate. I feel so ashamed that my daughter is the one defending an illiterate who still talks about the gods. He is not an illiterate. He is a standard and well educated man from an American university. He is not an illiterate. He is not an illiterate. Why are they doing this to him? Elders of Omo. To what do I owe this surprise visit? And while you are standing, I like to think that seats like this were meant for men like you. Eh? Unless you now consider yourselves unworthy to sit on these chairs in your sinful garments. Yeah? Okay. We will ignore all your insults, for that is not the reason we are here. We have been taking it lightly with you because of our late Igwe. We are here to give you an ultimate of two market days. To make up your mind and come to the elders of Umungene and apologize for daring to start what you have planned. Else. Else what? The throne will be taken away from you to a reasonable family. Yes. You must apologize. Yes. Especially to members of Uzenozo for alleging that they are not even initiated. And of course, you know that's a huge insult. And you are supposed to be apologizing by now with at least four cows. However, we will that for you. You better start making up your mind before we cripple you completely. Because I decided to restore an ancient practice founded by our forefathers. And you think that I am scared of all of you. Prince Ike Dinibo, I have an advice for you in a riddle form. As a close friend to your father, I will advise you. This path you have decided to follow will only lead to your destruction. Mark that word. 
I want to be destroyed. It's she, Chijoke. No, but it's here. Yeah? What happened? Huh? If you think that you're only at war with the elders, you are up against the entire community that you are planning to take them back to their vomit. The youth of Omungen will soon visit you. These elders are cowards. That is what they are. No. I totally disagree with you on this. You are the one creating unnecessary problems in this kingdom. And it is high time you stopped before it's too late. Asanze. I take it from your utterance that you have no clue as to what is going on. Nothing is going on. I mean, absolutely nothing. The only thing happening right now is that you are too stubborn. Even mother complained about that before she died. Mm, mm, mm. Please, please. Mm. Please don't bring mother into this place. Please. I will go with you. Yes, I am prepared to go with you to beg the elders. This and also often won't get a kingdom. I don't even mind we going now. Never. Never. Asasi, never. I am not going to apologize to them. You will not happen. When father was alive, I told him about my plan and he gave me his blessings. I will not apologize to them. I will go ahead with my plans. Let them go ahead with their plans. And let the gods decide. I still cannot fathom this. What is wrong with him? So, after spending 10 solid years in America, he came back and still talking about the gods? I have made up oh. my mind. Oh, mine. I have made up my mind. If I be more What happened in there? I saw them leaving and they were smiling as if you have finally agreed to do what they want. Never. If those men are smiling, it is because they must have deluded themselves to think that I have agreed to their very lousy ultimatum. What ultimatum? Uh, they have requested that I apologize to their so-called Zenozo group. Else, I lose the throne. And that is a very area I do not want them to touch. The kind of money that will come into Omungen and when the international market commences will be excess. And a large chunk of that money belongs to the throne. My friend, I do not want you to lose this throne. My main challenge right now is that I feel that his elders will turn the youth against me. That is my fear. So why don't you invite the youth leader, talk to him, and through him you can get to other groups in the land. It is good to have a thinking friend. Eh? No. Thank you. That's... Um, that's a very bright idea. So what do we do? We, you set up the structure, all right? Get me to meet with the youth leader, all right? So that way uh, we can have the youth on our side and then we take it from there. This whole thing is sure affecting you. Look at you. You look so sad. And it's as if you've lost weight overnight. <sighs> you may be right. 
I have not been eating well since this whole thing started. I can't understand. How are you coping? What can I do? I'm, I'm fine, I guess. So what are you going to do now? Are you going to leave the prince? Hmm? I will do no such thing. To me, I think you need to give the prince some space now. At least you have time to figure all this out. Well, I think differently. The prince needs me now more than ever. I think Ogechi is right. So the elders will get their eyes off you. What are you two saying? Please don't get me upset. Girlfriend, we're not trying to get you upset here. We're only being concerned here. Yes. We are. I guess you're right. Even my parents are making things so difficult for me right now. The thing is, I love the prince so dearly and I intend to stick with him till the end. Ah! Give us greetings, my prince. Thank you. Sit. Hey! I can see that. Um, you are very well entertained. Eh? <laughs> you can say that again, my prince. Yeah. I am, and thank you very much. Great. Um, I called you here because I hear of um, an impending protest. I'd like for you to tell me what it's about. Mm. My prince, you see, the elders of this land made the youth to understand that you have chosen not to reign peacefully. That you are planning to re-establish some pagan practices. And these pagan practices will end up destroying this kingdom. Is that so? Did they tell you specifically what these pagan practices are? Mm, my prince, as a youth leader, for it not to appear as if you are a, 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 a dictator, there is a way a youth leader will function. He mustn't seem to be imposing some decisions on the youth. So you 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 follow the majority always. <laughs> the majority always. Um, you busy. My prince. I understand your situation. As a leader of you. Okay. Um, but you are their leader for a reason. Okay. A part of your responsibility is to lead them to the truth. Very important. And understanding that will also teach you that sometimes the majority could be wrong. I think you are right, my prince. But this time, I don't think they are wrong. Why would you say so? Because uh, majority of them mm -hmm. have had one-on-one -on -one interactions with you. And they affirmed the fact that mm -hmm. Your, your, your decisions and the way you want to do things are different from what your father stood for. So, you see, they are not wrong. I am happy that you have come here today so that we can talk one-on-one. -on -one. So that you and your followers do not operate on ESA. But I assure you, you that at the end of this conversation, you will find out that someone somewhere, some mischief maker, is bent on hiding the truth. And that some individuals have been playing on the psyche of you for a very long time. You say so? I will educate you. Zobiora, <laughs> I appreciate your coming. You know, as true Christians, you are urged to always come to the house of the Lord once in a while. May the Lord be with you. Amen. Thank you, Father. You're welcome. You know, we are taught not to distance ourselves from the house of the Lord. 
<laughs> you're absolutely correct, Mizer. <laughs> that reminds me. How are you planning the coronation? Uh, Father, we have put the coronation on hold. Why? The prince is insensitive. He has the plan to reestablish the hidden practice we have abolished as a people. A hidden practice? Yes, Father. Where is that coming from? I've always known him to be a well-educated and highly religious young man. So what has gotten hold of him? I mean, where is this coming from? Father, we are surprised as well. But we won't let that happen. But please, Father, do not. I don't want to talk about the young man. I will compile the rest tonight. Hopefully before morning march tomorrow, you will receive an email. That's okay. That's okay, Nze. Thank you for coming. Yes, Father. So have a nice day ahead of you. Yes, Father. The Lord be with you. Thank you, Father. Oh. Ngozi nke jesu wa maru. I can't believe this, my prince. Are you, are you telling me the truth? I am telling you the truth. Listen, we have abandoned our ways. As Africans, as a people, we have abandoned the ways of our forefathers. And we have embraced a pattern that is not even clear enough. And what have we found ourselves in? Total injustice, sabotage, betrayal, all kinds of evil. At your own time, settle down and investigate the atrocities in Homo Nkene. And I assure you that you are going to find the elders and the so-called titled men in this kingdom, at the helm of it. You see, my prince, you are very, very correct. You know, you know what? I manana say, alo ba for blue menana. You know, I, I've been thinking because the, the atrocities and injustices have been so much in the land, and I've been wondering how do we get this land healed? Right. But uh, I never, I never thought of it that the solutions to these problems could be this simple, my prince. No. <laughs> it will not be simple, not at all. But I can assure you that if we pull our strength together and work as a team, we can defeat this evil man who will not only sleep with other people's wives, but also widows who are still mourning their husbands. You know, if this man had gone through the ancestral process of Eka Manili, they would have been careful. But be that as it may, if you can get the youth to join forces with me and stand behind me in this fight, I promise you here and now that I am going to restore the sacredness of Unzen also. My Prince. You need not to worry about this. But the youth can nudge. I have the youth. Thank you. I will talk with them. Thank you. I will get them to support you. Nah, you see, you see, my prince. Don't worry. You see, what you have, we have been yearning for this long ago. I don't think there is any way that we, the youth, will not give you our maximum support. Thank you very much. It's a promise. Thank you. Uh, you, you know that my father was a very peaceful person. He was a total gentleman. And so during his reign, um, he ignored a lot of anomalies. But my reign will be different for the good of the people. Oh, I don't know. I not care for You know that I have traveled, I have seen the world. Yeah. Eh? And I have mingled with Westerners, and I can tell you that they are laughing at us even as we speak for abandoning the ways of our fathers. Hmm? Walk with me. Eh? And let us rewrite history. Eh? Don't worry, my prince. <laughs> we are in this together. Dalo. 
Uh, I added you very much. Thank you too. What exactly do you think you know about Chief Tensi? Why are you discussing something you know nothing about? My princess, Nzenonzo is not the same as Chief Tensi. Anyone can be given Chief Tensi, but not anyone could be given Nzenonzo. And where did you get that from? My princess, I was born into it. What the prince is planning is to re-establish the old process that will make the men of Nzenozo very accountable. You really need to support him. Oh, really? I should support him to bring back what my father never practiced? Something rooted into paganism? Chinyere. Yeah, Can you hear yourself speak? Are you still normal at all? Now listen to me. I do not ever want you to raise this topic again. Am I well understood? If that is the reason, I think we need to support the prince. Exactly why I called both of you. We need to work together to see how we support the prince to achieve his plans. Ibezim, I am still surprised why the elders are ganging up against a nobleman. Why? Chidi, I am surprised at your surprise. You know these men are evil. And they are afraid that his plans with what they ask, thereby restoring sanity in the kingdom. They are banjo, remember? They just want to have a particular system that will help them and enable them to keep perpetuating their evil. And that's why we have not fed Dre as the people. In fact, please do. We need somebody like him. <laughs> you know, I've never told anyone the reason why I counseled my marriage with Amara. I don't get that. <laughs> the Obiora lured Amara with his money and fake promises. Are you serious? Wait, wait, wait. wait. And you are telling us now. I'm very serious. You know, I was able to brief the prince about the whole thing. And from what I gathered, the prince told his father and the late king invited in the Obiora, which he called me and apologized to me after having his way with Amara. And I just had to cancel the marriage. That is the more reason we need somebody like him. Those men are evil. Yes. I am glad. And my happiness is that all of us are on the same page. And I think organizing the rest of the youth can never and will never be a problem. I think so. Don't worry, my prince. You don't have any problem. The gods are always with the just. They have good intentions, so. Don't be afraid of anyone. Thank you very much, Obuifinwi Izaba. I have enormous respect for you. I've always known you as a man who stands for the truth. One of the few men in Omungana who will not be manipulated. You know, when I embarked on this mission, I had you in mind, Obuifi, because I knew that I will have your support. You are right. I am in full support of you and whatever you are doing. Dal. Go ahead with whatever plans you have. I am solidly behind you. The gods are with you. Never mind those men who have not been able to come to the deity. At least for, 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 for the ancient and noble ritual of Ekamanile. Marking of the tongues. And they go about parading themselves as members of the Nazo group, which they are not. Well, if you thank you for this clarification, Dalurin. Um, I believe that these men know the truth, and that is why they are kicking against me vehemently, but they will not succeed. Well, that is it. They know the truth, but the thing is that they are afraid of the truth. They don't want to face the truth. 
So, uh, but like I said earlier, you have my support. You have the support of the gods because you have good intentions. So go ahead. Nothing will happen to you. Be afraid of no one. Because I'm with you, I'm with you. And if there is any time you have any need for my advice or assistance, don't hesitate to come to me. Thank you very much, Abu. Zobiora. Zobiora. Onye makpamu. Zobiora. Come, something is seriously going on. Something what is happened? wrong. The youth of Umungene. They are no longer on our side. There was a dangerous politics that flew around Umungene last night. The youth are backing out. How can that be possible? I met with a youth leader, Ibezim. And he gave me his word. It is possible that he met Prince Ike Dinibo, or Ike Dinibo, after that meeting with you. And the prince brainwashed him completely. <laughs> True. Mm, that cannot be possible. Who is Ike Dinibo to brainwash such a man like Ibezim? Ibezim himself will not even allow that American returnee to lead him astray. Cannot. Well? He's very rooted, though. <laughs> But we have to start planning for something next. Because as it is, that American returnee has brainwashed him. Simple. Uh, I even wanted to make call you and uh, Ake Ushiwangwa later in the day. A man came in. <laughs> Silas! Are you in Eche? Eh? He is back. Silas in car. No, and he he's even, he even invited us to come to his place. I get him I Silence, can now go nowhere, and we take a decision after the meeting. I na fu so. Back, I go. I post everything. You can't do it. I put on the You can't do it. Bro, I even want ya. Oh, bro, nyala. As a priest of the church, it is my responsibility to ensure that whoever goes contrary to the dictates of the church be brought back to the path of righteousness i have been hearing a lot of unpleasant reports lately one of which is that you are trying to re-establish an ancient hidden practice long forgotten in this kingdom how true is that father dono let me educate you on this matter. But I'll start with telling you that Nzenozo has nothing to do with Christianity. It is a prestigious assembly instituted by our forefathers for the administration hmm, of justice, amongst other things. So whatever decision I take, as it affects Zeno's title taking, really should not be a bother to clergymen like you. You are absolutely wrong on that, my prince. Given the fact that members of my church are equally members of Zenozo. And, and uh, with all due respect, that is where I am. Can I ask you a question that may help streamline my argument? Okay, go ahead. Obuefiwi Zoba is the chief priest of Umoke Kingdom. And you know, would you allow for him to be given a knighthood title in your church? Oh, come off that, Ikedenibo. Why would you ask such a question? You know full well that your heathen priest is not a Christian and therefore cannot be knighted by the church. Do you know that I agree with you? <laughs> yes, I agree with you. He cannot be knighted by the church because he is not qualified, at least based on the structure the initiators of the knighthood title have put in place. That is how it is is with the Nzenozo title. There are ancestral procedures that you must go through to be fully initiated 
Do you understand? I do. But let me quickly remind you that this process that you're talking about, those procedures, are deeply rooted in paganism. And as a Christian, you should not be found wanting in that regard. Nobody should see you as one who condones that kind of hidden practice. Father Donald, I want you to do me a favor. As we do not interfere in the process of the knighthood of the church, the church must not interfere with our cultural and traditional heritage of Unze, Nonzo. Well, I understand what you're trying to say. But let me also tell you that people have been given these titles in the past without them going through the so-called process. In the past, you say. But I say in no distant past. When these missionaries that brought us Christianity came here, this white people pegged it a heathen practice. And to a layman, it was explained as a pagan practice. In other words, paganism. But then men began to rise in Obongen. Wealthy men, men of substance. And then they wanted to become a part of the prestigious Zenos. But the problem though, was that these men were already Christians, some of them Pentecostal, some of them Catholics, Methodist, Baptist, Anglican, and what have you. So what they did was to criminally come together, connived and instituted a means by which they boycotted the ancestral process of Ekamanile, which is the foundational ritual that an initiate must go through to be a certified member of Unzenozo. And that movement watered down the power of Unzenozo to a point where it now became a mere chieftain's title that can be conferred on just anyone who can afford it. And that also gave rise to a set of fraudulent men that call themselves in Zenozo, men who lie, men who sleep with other people's wives, men who come together to sell community lands, share the money amongst themselves, men who take money from dubious politicians and perpetrate evil in Omungine. That has to stop. Zenozo is sacred. Zenozo is no longer what it used to be. But under my reign, Father Donald, things will be done right and the truth must come to light. Hmm. I agree with you. I'm happy you do. Absolutely. I agree with you. But don't you think that all these antithetical vices that you outlined, that the Inzenozo indulge in, don't you think it can be curbed instead of us going back to this ancient practice? Because even your father, the Revet King, did not even bother to re-establish that process. And as someone who is a Christian, who believes in our Lord Jesus Christ, you shouldn't be seen as one who will want to bring that kind of ancient practice back. Now, as a Christian, I think this is about you, not about the elders. I don't know. If you are indeed a man of truth, you are going to be proud of me and the end of all of this. I will have you know that this has in no way affected my Christian faith. Another truth? I was first a man of Umungene before I realized that I am a Christian. Have a beautiful day, Father. Don. I have made up my mind Powerful decision makers of my land. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. <laughs>
I am happy to have you all. I am indeed honored to have you at such a short notice. <laughs> You're welcome. Uh, thank you, the true son of the soil, mm. for having us here today. We are always happy to honor your invitation because we know what your generosity can do. Okay, you Yeah. I heard that um, the prince is giving you a little headache. Oma, forget the prince. He is a small boy. Yes. We put him where he belongs very soon. He is a small boy. He is a small boy. He is a small boy. As the boy on the scrotum grows, the scrotum itself grows. No, no, no. I like to know that he is a man. I personally do not like that prince. He's such a proud person. Claiming to be a saint that he is not. Anyways, um, whenever you need my help, just let me know. Onwa, you just describe that prince in few words. But you need not bother. <laughs> My elders, relax and merry. Food will be served soon. I hired one of the best chefs around. <laughs> After that, I have a package for all of you. Silas, you know. <laughs> oh, man, it, it, you have spoken well. Mm. We need more of your type in this kingdom. I will be with you also. Oh, 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 one minute. You are the one we are waiting for. You are the one. We are the one. You are the one we are waiting for. You are the one. Oh yes, I may not be coming back to Europe until early next year. There is this new brand of politics that I want to start playing in my land. Oh yes. Um, yes, that will keep me up until early next year. Listen, Bishop, I trust you guys. I know you will always deliver. So please, handle things the best way. My son, will always come around. If there is anything that requires my signature, he will handle that. He will sign on my behalf. Yes, 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 yes. Uh, it's okay, I will talk to you later. Good. Uh, yes, 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 yes. All right, bye. <laughs> Oh, uh, You have been my reliable partner, and it is only right that I put you in picture. What is it? We don't have to search further. Silas Ilo, Yongwa, Neti one of Umungene Kingdom, is the one who is going to replace the prince. And he is the one we are going to make the next king. I don't have any problem with that. Of course, there is no other person better than him, I know. The only problem, though, is how are we going to bring him into it? 
I will call is a chijoke once I drop this call. But the most important thing is for three of us to agree together. Once the agreement is in place, leave him, I will bring him in. Of course, you know I will always give my support. You don't have any problem. Good. I will call you again if there is need. All of us will be happy. Bye. Thank you, Dan. I'll call you. Oh, Chief of Guru. I'm going to go to the bar. Thanks for the drink. You're welcome, sir. <laughs> so, how is your beautiful daughter doing? Oh, you mean Belinda? Mm -hmm. She's fine. <laughs> It's fine. I hope I'll get to see her before I leave. Of course, why not? <laughs> Hi. Hi. Uh, is here? <laughs> thank you, Madame Mukwe. Uh, the powerful woman of my land. You can say that uh, again. <laughs> for I told you not to bother yourself. Eh? Uh, mm -hmm. No, no. You know that is not possible. There must be cola for a visitor like you. No. Thank you. Uh, yeah. uh, go in and call me Belinda. You will like to see her. Uh, yes. Okay. I'm coming. <laughs> Odogu. Odogu nowhere. Uh, cola is here. <laughs> <laughs> My beautiful daughter. Hey! Always making me happy. Yet you connive with your husband to frustrate me. You will not let me marry the man I want to call my husband. Mother, you don't need to hear this from me. You are being very unfair. Because Silas Zillow is here to see you. I don't have any business with that fraudster. I don't want to see him. Belinda. Must you make wise statement? Why are you calling him names? Mother, Silas Elo is too basic to come in between us. Just tell him that I'm not around. Does it mean you're sending to that kind of errand? You want to pretend you don't know he's here to see you? Mother, stop, please. Just stop. My friend, get off from that mat, Biko. As if you don't know what I'm saying, Ibezim. Onyenze, I know exactly what you are saying. Mm -hmm. But I've asked you one question which you are yet to answer me. Onyenze, why do you hate him this much? What do you hold against his desires to restore the glory of Omong? And who told you that he's restoring the glory? Prince Ikedinimu is planning to destroy the kingdom. And a man like you, saddled with the responsibility of leading the youth, should understand what is going on. Zobior, I beg you just this once. Let me lead the youth to the best of my ability. And let me tell you, I still have three years, three more years. To the end of this, my second tenor. Prepare to campaign against me and remove me from office if you think I'm not doing well. And what makes you think that you remain in that position until the end of your so-called tenor? With the way you are going? <laughs> you want to kill me? <laughs> so, Biora, please, let's not drag this matter. If you think that I am not leading the youth aright, and that you can remove me from this office. Go ahead, but I tell you one thing. I have one feeling in my heart, and that is that Prince Ikednebu means well for Umongene Kingdom. And his desires 
I will ensure I get the youth to support him in his designs. Mm? I have a lot of women begging for my attention, but I chose you. I chose you because I love you genuinely. Why not make this easy for me? The question begging for an answer here is why? Why are you doing this? I have a fiancé and you know him. Why don't you choose from the multitudes of women you said are interested in you? Do I need to remind you that your so-called fiancé is not anywhere better than me? Huh? Or one at Poland? Okay, where is it only? I put you. Can somebody talk to the boss? Get me those things. Very boss. For you. Thanks, but I'm not interested in your gift. I you didn't even see what you're being offered. Eh? They are beautiful jewelries worth over a million naira. I do not want you or your gift. And please, Silas Ilo, stop coming to my house to embarrass me. Opo, Dogu Kena, Wapa Opo. Gay, gay, is bungry. Mom. Please warn your Silas. Warn your Silas to stop coming here. I am not the type of girl to be wooed by stupid gifts. Let him stop coming here. Makuto. Uh, excuse me. May I have this? Thank you so much. I am so sorry about what happened. Mm. I promise to talk to her. She will come around. Thank you. You're welcome. Please talk to her. I am not here to waste her time. I want to make her my wife. And I'm serious about it. Let her just say yes. Come back with your in our system. Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> oh my. <laughs> That's exactly what she is going to say. Mm. Trust me. Thank you. Oh, Dalo Rineo. Madam Ugwe. Uh, Dalo. Thank you. Bye. I bring you. As I speak to you, he has already proposed to her. And I know that that girl will say yes to him. And the useless prince will not recover from the shock. Odd woman, odd woman. That will serve him right. But I am bothered about a particular thing, a different thing. Ogni, Obuifimu is Zoba. The chief priest of Umugere seems to be supporting him. And that should be our major concern now. Is this by here, sir? Or did you see Obuefi face to face and he confirmed to you that he is supporting him? 
proof is that I didn't see him face to face. But the people that said this to me are men that could be trusted. They cannot tell me that way few is about is supporting him when he is not. Well, I am not surprised. He is the chief priest. Any hidden practice is welcomed by him. Of course, yes. Do you know what? As for the chief priest, he cannot stop us. And no gods will stop us. We are all Christians. And we must have faith. I have faith. Eh? As for Ibezim and Co, we find a land of our choice, sell it, and then use the money to buy them over. We use it to buy them back. Yes. Okay. But did he confirm to you that it's money he needs? Uh, he doesn't need to uh, tell me such. I know how the minds of men work. Money can do magic. Mm. <coughs> so now, um, which of the lands are we going to sell? Uh, you take a decision. We buy them back. Okay, we will make arrangement for the land. You think I was joking with you? Go to your room before I slap you. Mom, what's the meaning of this? Am I in bondage in my own house? Tell me anything, I don't care. But you're not leaving this house until your father returns. That is what he said. I will never allow you to start disobeying my husband. Mom, but you know I can never disobey my father. So, why didn't you dress up to go out? when he had already ordered you not to leave the compound in his absence. Don't worry, mother. I'll be back before he returns. My tax is already out there waiting for me. This is uh, yes, I'll be back before he returns. Hey, my friend, go inside. Good afternoon, ma'am. Good afternoon, young man. How are you? Oh, Omar asked me to give you this. Who is Omar? What nonsense question are you asking this young man? Who is that person in this kingdom who does not know that Silas Ilo is the Oma of Umongene kingdom? Well, Silas Ilo is not my Oma. I can never be my Oma. Really? Well, apart from asking me to give you this, he also wishes to invite you for a private dinner in his castle this evening, if you don't mind. Please, will you go and tell your Oma that I'm not interested? What is it? What is wrong with this girl? Hey. Oh, uh, no. Let me have it, please. All right, ma'am. Thank you. Uh, my, uh, madam, Miss Trump of this uh, to stop being hostile to my boss. He really loves her and is willing to do anything, I mean, anything in his capacity as an owner to make sure she's happy. Hmm. And believe me, she will be happy. No problem. Thank you so much. Eh? I have heard of my Stop collecting anything from this man. Hey! Look at the beautiful things he got for you. Eh? Hey! Mother, I don't need anything from him. You think I will allow your stupidity denying me the benefits I should be getting for giving back to you? young beautiful woman like and like i said i don't need anything from him well if you don't need it i will sell them and use the money for better things this guy has class hey he is rich and he buys original things hey mother you actually make me laugh mother why are you why are you acting like we are poor we are okay. Why, why are you acting like we really need this money? No, this has nothing to do with poverty. 
It has everything to do with the beauty and happiness of the woman. This guy is better than that of your prince. That will not amount to anything. Well, mother, whether or not he amounts to anything, it is the prince and no one else. <clears throat> Please, help me relay this message to your own. Hey! Go! Chukwabia. Listen, let me tell you here now. Hmm? I will never allow you end up with any man that cannot guarantee your happiness. Hmm. I am your mother, and this is one of the decisions I must make for you. Mitchell, let me show you. Mom, return these things, oh. Return these things, oh. Go and return these things to your mom. I don't want to. Oh, my word, my word, my word, my eh? word, mm. So, how did it go? Did she accept the gift? No, boss. But her mother did. Mm. The most annoying part of it is that she denied not knowing who is the owner of Umungene. Mm. Makutu. Boss. Do not bother yourself. I will get her where I want her to be. I shall be begging for more. I trust you, boss. In the meantime, that lady we met at Ayaka Trans Vanity Limited. She called that she would like to see you, but I had to dismiss her. Now that it is set in Berlin, that people will not be coming. Can I bring her over? Makutu. Boss. Makutu. Boss. Mm. Sure. Just arrange things. Fix her in any of the hotels around. Um, I think um, Zodiac Lounge is better. Let her meet us there. Very well, boss. I'll see her later. Very well, boss. Oh, talk to you later. Thank you, boss. Hello. You have to figure out a way to accept this proposal. And what happens to my engagement to the prince? The prince is completely out of the picture. Out of the picture for who? He may be out of the picture for others, but not for me. I love the prince. And I'm going to marry him. And as for that Silas, who has presumably bought everyone around me with his, with, with his worthless money, he can go to hell. Watch your tongue, woman. Your so-called prince will not ascend that throne. Please tell her. This is the same thing I've been telling her, that that her so-called prince it will no longer amount to anything. I love the prince. That's why I'm marrying him. It's better you start hating him. And I am marrying him because I love him. I'm not marrying him for, for, for what, what he is or what he stands to represent. It is a prince or no one else. Mm. Okay. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Why is her number not connecting? Why can't I reach her? I hope all is well. What is going on? I've been calling her number all day and it says switched off. Maybe I should just leave her a text. When her phone comes up, she will see it. Of a sister, a son is You're still awake at this time, why? I've actually not gone to bed. What troubles you? 
all is not well and you know exactly what the problem is if you don't tell me what the problem is how would i know you have to tell me Zobiora called me earlier today so. and he said a whole lot that made me believe that my brother is actually going astray ah this man would not leave me be huh. Let's assume that I'm going astray. Who will stop me? I cannot stop you, Ikedinibo. But I am hoping that you will stop yourself by discontinuing this process that is threatening to set us against the people. What exactly am I doing that will set us against the people? What? It's only the evil men, the enemies, that would see it that way. What I'm doing, Asa, is for the general good of the people. And as for these men, I am going to flog them into line. If you're not going to go to the hospital, I'm going to I'm trying to restore the truth in Omo and Gene. And I need your support. You're my sister. Be my support. Be my strength. I need you. So that at the end of the day, we will all celebrate. What else must I do to make him listen to me? He's so stubborn. I have made up my mind. If I be more well What I don't understand is how my mother just suddenly changed all of a sudden. With the turn of events, it is expected your your mom at this point must have been brainwashed. Don't you think so? But my mother only Madame Ukwe of Umungene Kingdom is well educated and should not have bought into those lies. If your mom turns out to be as objective as you expect her to be at times like this, then it would mean that she's not amongst the people who organized religion has changed their psyche. Organized religion has destroyed this land, Obi. This war is war against organized religion. I know, and that's the problem. That's why I'm worried. Father Donald called me. Oh, he was here. What? Yes, he was here, and I did not hesitate to tell him what I intend to do. And I'm sure he didn't take anything you said. Can I be honest with you? Obi. Father Donald is the least of my worries right now. What troubles my heart right now is this information that your parents are considering giving you out in marriage to, 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 to Silas. You know, it, it, it worries me. Opium. It worries me. Opium. Opium, you know that even if Silas Ilo were to be the last man on earth, I, Belinda, I will remain single. You know I love to hear you say that all the time. And I say it with every single thing in me. And I love you. With everything in me.
Hi, Belinda. Hi, Princess. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. I hope I have not really kept you waiting for long. All right. Let me just go straight to the point. I mean, I really do not understand why Silas would want to get married to you and you are refusing. Why? You don't understand? <laughs> I'm engaged to your brother. Engaged, you said. Not married. Since my brother is so stupid enough not to see, why are you wasting your time with him when a man like Oma of Umungene is ready to get married to you today, today? Belinda, what is wrong with you? Why not open your eyes? I cannot believe you're saying this. What can't you believe? Opportunity comes only but once in life. Since the elders have annulled your engagement with my brother, and with the way things are going, he is not ready to do anything about it. He is not ready to change. And you know that I am not in support of him. So the best I think you should do is to get married to Silas. Because your happiness for life will be guaranteed. Well, I'm sorry. I'm not leaving your brother. We've come a long way. I won't leave him because the elders are determined to hide the truth. Huh. Wow. Really? Well, the only thing I'm seeing right now is that my brother has brainwashed you with so much lies. There's no lie. There's no lie on your brother's part. Instead, the elders are the liars. And their lies will catch up with them soon. You love my brother. A sinking love. What sort of love is that? Belinda, I've always known you to be a very intelligent girl. Why are you behaving like a dumb human being? You can insult me all you want, my princess. But that's not going to change my conviction. My fiancé is telling the truth. The elders are lying. I will stand by my man. Ibezim, mm. why are you dismissing this issue as if it's nothing? I met this man and he confirmed to me that Zobiora sold this land to him. She did the same way. Zobiora and the other elders are selling the community land and pocketing the money. You see, we need to be very careful so that we don't play into their hands. No, Ibezim. I'm not asking us to play into their hands. But we can act fast and stop this transaction. Chidi, Chidi, Chidi. We are forgetting one fact. Which fact? This land is sold already. See, we don't need to fight too many wars at the same time. Bizim. Else we leave ourselves seriously injured. One thing at a time. And I'm assuring you that these elders will not know what befalls them. Zobiora. Zobiora. My prince, if you continue allowing Belinda to have this close conversation with the princess, um, it's not nice. Why? Would you say that, huh? Asan is my sister. She is your sister and she is not interested in what we are doing. In fact, she called me and practically ordered me to stop you from pursuing this noble objective. Why did you not stop me? Oh, come on, my queen. Do not joke with this thing. It is very serious. If you continue allowing her to discuss freely, she may end up convincing her to undermine what we are doing. No. Not Belinda. I trust her absolutely. As I the one who would talk one out of your conviction, it will be Belinda, not the other way around. So relax. Okay. If you say so. Back to the main issue. What are we going to do to that idiot that proposed to Belinda? Should we not send boys to set his castle at least? We do that and we would have succeeded in reducing ourselves 
to his level. We cannot leave him to get away with this insult. I mean, who is he to propose to a woman that is engaged to the crown prince of Umungene? I, I, I feel like slapping his mouth. That guy is not only dumb, he's equally stupid. Forget him on the way. The man is already a loser. That reminds me. Yes. There is a man we need to see. Is that so? Who? I am surprised at myself that I did not remember him all this while. Chief, you won't know. I could you afford. But we feel see where power will one of Umungene Kingdom. One man riots God. Something in me tells me that he is the one we need. I know him. My father used to talk to me a lot about him when he was alive. But I understand that he lives in Gabon. Yeah, I know he has been around. He is the one who bought the NMPC gas station. Renovated it and the man is not doing badly at all. I am not happy you're disrespecting your parents just because of a man. Mm -hmm. Can't believe you are this classless. So you mean you want me to leave my own man and marry a man who's a fraudster? Please. The same man you're calling a fraudster is going to emerge the king of this kingdom and is going to rule over you. What's my business? He's already your own one. He might as well be your king. Oh, you already know he's going to be the king of this kingdom and you're still refusing his proposal. Because he was never my man and he's still not my kind. If you're so obsessed with him, why don't you just go to his house, I'm sure you know where it is, and offer yourself to him. And please, spare me the sermon. <laughs> well, I've always known the prince to be a man of many sides. Meaning what? He's into charms, and that is why he's trying to introduce paganism. Excuse you? Maybe he has used one of his charms to cage your spirit. That is the only thing that can make me see you talking like a fool here. Says a fool who cannot read in between lines, calling another a fool. Don't let me switch it on you. <laughs> His Serene Majesty, <laughs> Prince Ikedi Ibo of Umungane Kingdom, I am indeed delighted with this visit of yours to my place today. <laughs> Thank you very much, Obwefi. I uh, must also say that I am well pleased with the reception that you have given wow. to me. <laughs> Given the fact that you're a very busy man, you know, um, running the petrol and oil uh, business is no easy feat at all. Mm. Uh, but you have decided to put everything on your schedule on hold so that you can attend to me. Obwefi, that I do not take for granted. I will not forget. My prince, please, you don't need to stand that way. <laughs> You don't owe me anything. I am actually the one that owe you a whole lot. Already you have humbled me with the plans you have. Mm -hmm. But I, I must have to tell you, it is not going to be easy. I even have a reason to believe that they may make an attempt. They will try to make an attempt on your life. Oh boy, if he... You know, my friend Dundulue said something like that to me. But what worries me is why would anyone make an attempt at my life because I'm standing up for the truth. No, the truth that you are trying to restore happens to be the very one they believe they have suppressed permanently. I always knew it that a day like this will come when that same truth will be staring at us. I'm just so glad that you are doing this. But I must have to tell you here and now that you have my support. I should I tell you the truth that my support is very rooted and solemn. <laughs> solemn and rooted, Obwefi. I know exactly what that means, Obwefi. Because you are the only answer in our land that went through the original process <laughs> of initiation. 
to become a prestigious part of the Zenozo. And that means that you are ahead of this man in spirituality and sanctity. And the very truth you are trying to restore actually is the very definition of holiness hmm. in this part of the world. I'm going to take you to some places, some very sacred places in our land, places where you are going to pray, places where you can commune easily with our ancestors. That prayer is going to place you above those men in the spiritual realm. I am going to expose you to the real meaning Thank you, Luffy. And though the spirits of my fathers, I know they are with me. Yeah, I can't worry, I fuck with people. I don't want to be a DJ. I know I'm a man. This place is actually a very sacred place in our kingdom. We call here Aja Niupu. This is where Ozongene, our progenitor, was buried. And over the years, we have used this tree as a contact to reach to him anytime we want to communicate with him. That is why we are here. This is wonderful. Ike Dinibo, you are going to pray a very simple prayer here. I want you to tell Ozongene what you are planning to do in his land. And I want you to ask him what you want him to do for you. Trust me, he is going to hear you, for he has never disappointed. And now the spirit of my fathers, I know they are with me. I can't hurry for unko. Leno mo bi ani che, leno am ne pe. I will never give it up. I will never give it up. Ozongene. Ozongene, my great progenitor, I am here to seek your help. For I seek to establish the truth in your Mongene kingdom. Zenozo has been bastardized to a point where it is now seen by everyone as a mere chieftaincy title that can be conferred on just anybody. Ozongen. Nyelanya kamaka nifene maybe. Liars, pretenders, betrayers, adulterers, and even them drubbers now parade themselves around town as prestigious members of the Zenozo group. Why? Also, you know that it is not right. Help me become the king of Umungene kingdom, and I vow to you right here and now that I shall restore the ancient ritual of Ikamanile. The marking on the tongue of the initiate and making sure that the blood drops on the sacred stone. Omen and I call it is our way, it is our cultural heritage. Ozo, help me. Ozo, Gene, one and Wenu, 
the man who will never allow evil to triumph over the truth. I brought him here because I know what he represents. Please, do this for him, and I vow on my honor that I'm going to present a cow to be offered on this altar in appreciation for what you have done for us. Also, I shall add to it by making it two cows. <laughs> do this which I ask you to help me with, and I vow to you again that I shall come here on this altar with a cow. Ozo ngene mwa na nwele nu alusi nwele ibobo okwa na ge nwa ke gu na arale eh onye mere ka ona emu mwa ji anwuri ati no oku re ni ene ke ra ka odogun ko bore di mma me ko dala anyi mma no dala ya bona odi gwokolo onye obu na mma o ya dala ya dala anyi mma na nkwo o ya dala anyi mma na ike o ya dala anyi mma na oye dala anyi mma na fo he say utu wa gori aka odi de ji dala nuku mma de This again is one of the sacred places we have in Umungane Kingdom. This place is called Obimwako. The spirits that keep watch over the truth, they reside here. In fact, this was the place the last man was killed. The man, he took bribe. And then he lied, he did not take bribe, he died on the spot. I brought you here because you are embarking on an important mission. Mission for the truth. It is only important for you to stand here and make a statement of truth. In the humility of my heart, I ask the ancient spirits of Obimwako the same spirits that killed the liar on the spot to guide me as I embark on this mission to restore the truth in Omungana. Help me. For I want to restore the glory of Unzenozo in Omungana. So that when a member of the prestigious Unzenozo group speaks, it shall be taken as the truth. And nothing but the truth. Just as it was in the days of old. Grant me this request. And just like I promised at Aja and Yuku, I shall return with a gift of a calf to say thank you. The spirits that keep watch over the truth. I am pleading with you to respond. Because it has never been recorded in our history that a man came before you to pray with sincerity of heart and you turned him down. You will always respond and when you respond, you respond in style. 
That is the same thing I am pleading with you to repeat. For this young man here, the prince of Umungane Kingdom, Yike Didibo, who is seeking to restore truth in a Umungane Kingdom. I know you will do it for him. I beseech all the spirits of the ancestors, the spirits of truth. Guide us in this process of establishing the truth. And as he said, we are going to come back to say thank you for what you have done for us. You did so well by leading him to the right place. Yeah, welcome, Obuefi. We use a Thank you. Will this offer? Offer Gume. The Zenozo title is being confirmed in the whole of Fumungene Kingdom. Without this, there is no Zenozo. But these days, a lot of things have gone wrong. People go about buying titles with money. They give you money, they are conferred with the title of Zenozo, and they go about parading themselves as Zenozo for real, yet they are not. I will tell you this. On this mission, this sacred mission of yours, May the gods go with you. You say? Even if, if it comes, may they not get you. You say? You say. Evil may come through left, right, or center, but will never, never get to you. You say? You say. Those will always guide and protect you. And may evil never. Will evil triumph over the forces of truth? You say? You say. <clears throat> I'm not here for drinking and merriment. It's obvious we are not making any headway. No, 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 no. Drink it. It's very good. It will open up your bowel. See, I'm not here for drinking and merriment. Zobiora, we are not making any good headway. And he's seriously. Bothering me, Oguano Chesi, Tanzanos on a map. Passing a warning, I was a big head. No test, Tanzanos on a map. You look at it, I would be needing one more help from you, please, if you don't mind. And what is it? Um, you see, my sister, um, Asanze. The princess is not on our side. She does not um, agree with what we're doing. I have done my best in convincing her that there's a lot of truth and light in what we're doing, but she remains adamant. And I'm thinking that as a respected figure that you are, Ubuifi, in Omongere, that if you approach her and talk to her, she will listen. Well, I don't think you will blame your sister. She is a woman. And unfortunately for us, women in our part of the country, they are the most vulnerable when it comes to the manipulation of organized religion. <laughs> oh, boy, I must say that you have a way with words. <laughs> the manipulation of organized religion, you have summarized it all. That is what we Because face. to us, Sanze, everything that we're doing right now is paganism. Uh, Fortunately. Okay, to run a fine name. Well, um, <laughs> your sister should be the least of your worries now. But don't worry, just go. I will find time, come to the palace and talk with her. I trust you, Wolfie. I will. Thank you very much. You get the name. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.
Ike dini bo. I'll be in touch. Okay, dini grandma. Thank you. Kobe. What I gather is that you don't even know what has been happening since morning. What is happening here? In this our Mungana kingdom, the prince and Obuefi Siwepao Onyawa Netinyao have been moving around since morning till now. Ah, what is he doing with that evil man? It's obvious, it's so obvious that Siwe Pao has been using the prince against us. Because he doesn't want to associate with us, he doesn't come for our meetings, he, he calls us fake Zenozo title holders in Umungene. Can't you, can't you, can't you see the link? <laughs> then, he is becoming clear that he's fighting a lost battle. Exactly. B battle to ridicule the Zenozo in Umungene kingdom. Yeah, 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 man. Uh, let us drink up uh, before the week runs out, I will see what to do. Papa Nokua, are you assuring me you will do something? Ah! Imagine if I'm going to say, what's your name? What's your name? Hey, Joka. Ah! Ha 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 Those who don't know what I have done so far might think I am not really doing anything. He has made up his mind to mind his business. So have I also made up my mind to mind my own business and face my problems. Exactly. What must I do? Wait, bro. Please, my brother just arrived. I'm going to call you back much later. Um, How was your day? Great. Some men were here earlier to see you. Your supporters, I guess. Yes, they called me and I promised... Um, to see them tomorrow. Ikedini, but what is wrong with you? When will you stop this madness? Oh, you're actually waiting for your fingers to get burnt before you do the right thing? Fingers of liars. Asaze. Fingers of men who subvert the cause of justice will get burnt. Not mine. Where did you go today? Does he ever occur to you that this man might make an attempt on your life? Let that be my headache. Hmm? Oh. He's so stubborn. What must I do? Yes, how are you today? I'm fine, sir. I come to see the princess. Where is she? She is in the living tray. Living room three? Yes, sir. Thank you. So, when you go to buy all those things you promised, you are going to give to me what you promised me, right? Seems as if I interrupted something. Oh no. Um you, you did not interrupt anything at all. Um just sit down. I'm 
Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon, young man. How are you? I'm very well, sir. Uh, I'll see you before the week runs out, okay? All right. Well, I am sorry about that. I met a guard outside who directed me to living room three. It is obvious he's not aware you are in, in the middle of something. No, 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 I, I actually am not in the middle of anything. It was actually nothing. Um, you're welcome, please. I would really love to offer you something. Just have a seat. And please do not say no because my father held you on high esteem. No, no, no. I am actually insisting that you don't have to bother yourself. Mm -hmm. I am not here for cola or whatever you may want to offer. Specifically, I came to speak with you regarding your brother. My brother? Yes. What about him? He needs your support. I don't know why you are not taking this thing as serious as you should as the princess of Omongana Kingdom. That young man is not just your brother, he is your blood. You have to support him. Not on this case, Obwefi. I mean, I would do no such thing. Why? For crying out loud, I am a Christian and a very dedicated one at that. I cannot support pagan practice. Really? Yes. Really. Should I remind you that what you are saying of yourself equally goes for your brother? He is equally a Christian. No, I am a child of God. And do not drum that into my head as if there is anybody around here who is a child of the devil. Nobody is a child of the devil. All of us believe in Chuko Kika Biyama. We pray to him and we believe in his supremacy. Don't be telling me all this about Christian. I'm a Christian. I am this. I am that. I can see how good a Christian you are. By consistently bringing your boyfriend into the palace where your father was buried, they'll be doing whatever nonsense he's doing with mm. you. Let me, let, let me just ask you, Asanze, is that how a good Christian should be behaving? And what sort of stupid question is that? What, what's the meaning of this? Are you here to interrogate me or what business uh, do you have with my private life? I, I am not interrogating you. I am just making an empirical statement based on what I have just seen. Listen to me. I am not just here as an elder. I am here as a very good friend of your late father. And I, I come to tell you something that is very important. You have to give your brother that support that he needs because he cannot get it from our side. You are the one that should be giving him that support. I don't understand all this, Ichi. Did you actually come here on your own? Or my brother paid you to come and say all this nonsense to me? It is an insult for you to stand before me and allege that I was paid by anybody to come and say what I'm saying. I am here in my individual capacity and I come to tell you what you are supposed to hear. And I want you to listen. Listen. Leave, it. I, I, leave all this your I am a Christian, I am a child of God, I am whatever nonsense. It does not just make sense. If I were to be a woman, without being all these things you are saying, there is no way I would have actually allowed any man to come into my father's compound to be touching me inappropriately in the same compound where the remains of my father was lowered. Enough. Enough, Chief. I mean, what's all this? Listen, I've got respect for you. And if you do not shut your mouth, I will lose it. Hey, you can as well lose it for all I care. That is not why I am here. I am here to talk to you because I am the one who can talk to you. Your brother needs your support and I want you to give him that support. The gods and the ancestors of this kingdom are already supporting him. And you can equally start supporting him. Giving him that support is not going to cost you anything. And let me tell you something. There are things we have in this kingdom that are superior to whatever religion you are sampling. I want you to ponder on these words. Asanze. God. It is so obvious. The princess, your sister, 
she has turned into something else. Sincerely, I am not impressed with the position I found her with her boyfriend when I, when I came in. This matter that you have just raised is almost beyond me. I have constantly spoken to her about it. I have told her, you cannot do things like this in the palace. And she tells me to mind my business. I say, no, this is not about you and I now. If this is the young man that you love with all of your heart, get him to get his people. I will give you out in marriage. Get married. Let him take you home. You cannot. This is a secret palace. But my sister tells me to mind my business. Well, I think the best thing you have to do now is to ignore her. Asanze, from what I've just seen, is going to be a huge distraction. And you don't need any distractions now. You don't. True. 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 I, I see your point. And, um, Obwefi, I'll do as you've said. And if, if anything comes up, just call me. We can count on that. Okay, then. Dalo, have a blessed day. Thank you. You know, I wish I could <laughs> describe what you look like right now. What is the meaning of this nonsense? It is not nonsense, Asa. That man that just left I, here. I, 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 I will not have you insult you. You will not. I could do your phone. You will be a web of a king. The only authentic Zenozo in Omongene. You know what that man represents and you must respect him. Really? Oh, yes. I should respect a man that disrespects me? Can you hear yourself speak? Now listen to me, Ikedimbo. I do not ever want to see that man in this palace again. I don't want to. Asanze, have you started smoking weed? I have not started smoking anything. That crazy man came to this palace and insulted me simply because he saw Martins and I. What right does he have? What right? What that man told you is the same thing that I have been telling you over time. Is that not so? Nobody should tell me anything. I mean, no one has that right. Who is he? Who is he to tell me to support your fetish plans? Who? What he saw you doing in the palace, was it right? No, it was not. I've admonished you countless times and also told you, if Martins is the man you want to spend the rest of your life with, you love him enough, let him come and marry you. Palace is a sacred place. You cannot keep putting up that kind of dirty act here. I won't have that young man come and desecrate the palace at all times. It is not nice. Okay, Jimmy, but you don't have any right whatsoever to tell me what to do with my life. Now, what that man who has been deceiving you, if I face him in this town, that his gas station will go up in flames. <laughs> As far as I am concerned, this meeting is unscheduled. But I am still prepared 
to bring you in into my house and offer you cola as men of my land. Why have you decided to stand outside? Of course, we political men of Fumunga cannot schedule a meeting with a man like you. And how is a man like me described, if I may ask? Very, very mischievous. Daily, really. Very crafty. Our oh, crooked, uh, thoroughly, and that is why you can hardly get along with any man in this kingdom. Yes. Most times, when I listen to men who parade themselves as the political heads of my own kingdom, I begin to wonder why in this world will God allow men a very long time to perpetuate evil? Why? Why? see we are not here to banter words with you. Yes. As you can see, we are not here for a friendly visit. We are not. Information has reached us that you are the one poisoning the mind of the prince against us. Exactly. My what name. exactly are you hoping to achieve? Well, I am not actually under any obligation to respond to the conclusion of this your presentation. Because the foundation was fallacious. <laughs> Absolutely fallacious. <laughs> <laughs> But I will respond. You know why? Because I want to end this nonsense meeting and have you men out of my compound. Ah, mind. Just mind the kind of words you use against us here. Yeah. Mr. Shijoke, please. Do you actually think you are qualified to speak to the man like me? How dare you refer to me as a mister? I'm, I am insane. You are not any insane. In Umungana Kingdom. Because there was never any ceremony where the priest of women gonna make a mark on your tongue as an Inzenozo says you men are politicians and I am supporting the prince because he has decided to restore that which you men stole from our land. Are you not aware that you already excommunicated from Inzenozo group? And who are the people that excommunicated me from the Inzenozo? No, can you possibly excommunicate somebody from a group that you, you, you're not even a member? You men are not even members of the Inzenozo group. Hey. What happened was that you excommunicated me from your political gathering, from your political party, and in all honesty, I am not even bothered at all. Hey. Okay? see Don't say we did not warn you. Disobey this order. And then discover what deadly position can be. Kangwan, Igalama na Taloba. See what I want of one or no work and I need real. Rapia, on a beer, on a bodo, on a bodo. What of one or no work and I need real. Rapia, like I have a job. Nana, who's not going to do it? Oh, him, 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 uh, uh, listen, I want you to continue in what you are doing. Do not ever relent. Because I'm already seeing light at the end of this tunnel. That thing you are doing, continue to do it. Seems like you are not interested in the position your father is pursuing. Says who? I like what he's doing. I am interested, but I like to operate from a remote position. <laughs> Edmond, Edmond. A remote position, you see. What does that mean? <laughs> it means I am the son of my father. I stand with my father. We are going to clinch that position and then you will know what I mean. 
have discussed with my business partners. I am going nowhere. In fact, I will be here for even two years. <laughs> I want us to start the plans. I oh. want to become the king immediately. <laughs> As you know, this will cost you money. Not just money. To mean few millions of naira. Onwa, this process will cost you tens of millions of naira. I'm ready to spend whatever that is required. I heard that the governor may soon Commission the Omongen International Market. Yes. I want us to be in charge. That facility will yield millions of naira from daily contribution. I want us to be in charge. <laughs> <laughs> we don't have to waste a minute in this. For we have the structure on the ground and we have machineries set in motion. You are going to be the next king. There's no doubt about it. No contention. What we'll be discussing now is the main thing. Mm. Well, um, I'm interested in it. Define what you mean by the main thing and we'll start discussing it. Zubiora, what will you do? Like the profit that will be coming from the daily collections from the international market. Mm -hmm. How do we share it? As in, are we going to be sharing daily? Weekly or monthly? Most importantly, we need to work out the sharing percentage now. Mm -hmm. How much goes to the king? How much goes to the elders and council? Mm -hmm. And how much goes to the president of the town union for the administration of the kingdom? <laughs> um, my elders. Tell me what you have in mind. As you can see, I'm open for negotiations. To prove that, I will give each of you a million naira mm -hmm. today hey. huh? <laughs> to facilitate the process of the crowning. Oh my. <laughs> this is my work. If you can do what you have just said, then be rest assured that every other underground move will be completed before the month ends. And the children. Okwan Poland Zayote. Come to wherever. Bowan a Poland. Omwa. Omu Bowa. Do Mongere. Omwa. Ewemunopole. Ani mo do di mo na bolo so. Ani mo do di mo na bolo so. Belinda. Hello, my princess. How are you? Good. Um, I gathered your parents have stopped you from coming to the palace to see the prince. Well, what are you still doing here? My princess, the elders controlling the affairs of this kingdom, Nzobiura, Nzechijioke, and Nzake Kuchiyama are the ones manipulating this kingdom. Don't you think it's rather insulting to have yourself manipulated by them? Why are you turning the table on me? You are the one in center of the storm. All the questions are directed to you. I'm sorry, my princess. I am not at the center of any storm. These elders are the ones instigating this nonsense. They are trying to destroy your brother and we must not let them. No, Belinda. I totally disagree with you. My brother is the one trying to destroy himself. Oh yes, so please, do not bring the helpless elders into this. I personally don't have any objection. I mean, Silas Ilo is a good man who knows how to spend money. At this time in our history, when we are going to make a lot of money from the international market, it will only be right for him to be the king. So why haven't you convinced your daughter to marry him as her husband? It is not a blessing in disguise. Let's allow him to marry a woman he can control. My daughter, who I cannot control, 
is too wild and having her as the queen will affect men in council. That is Belinda will block you from even seeing her husband. That is exactly why we are no longer talking about Belinda. Onwa is going to emerge the king. And the, the elders in council will ensure that he has the kind of woman who respects the decision of elders as his wife. Do you think I'm making up this story? I am not a busybody, my prince. I am telling you what is happening. They are planning to make him the next king. I have told you that I am not bothered. Oh, you have to be bothered. Ike Dinibu, you have to be bothered. These elders are deadly politicians. And once they decide on anything, they hardly look back. Then let them go ahead. If they feel that they have what it takes to dislodge the gods of Omo and Gena Kingdom, so be it. Please, Ike Dinibu, I am begging you. Call these elders and tell them that you have finally decided to allow things to continue being the way they are. And once you are made king, you can do whatever you want. Yes. The same lies that politicians tell the people all the time. Because they fear nothing. I'm not a liar. I'm not a deceitful person. I'm not going to get people behind me with lies. I'm an upright man. I tell them exactly what I am going to do once I ascend the throne. Can't you see that we are losing out already? If any, maybe. If any, maybe. Ndiloe, stop giving me an impression of an inconsistent man. But you spoke to me about a wifey. See what happened to you? Yes, I was the one who introduced you to Obuefi Siwepalo. But this has gone higher than him. It has. These politicians are deadly. We may wake up one morning and hear over the radio that Silas Ilo has been crowned the next king. Now tell me, how would you feel as a crown prince? And I will accept that the gods never wanted me to be king. But done with this discussion in the way. Enjoy the rest of your day. <sighs> Ike Dinibo, I like the response you gave your friend. If the girls are interested in this restoration you seek, they are going to do it their way. Yeah, oh boy, if that is what I believe. But my concern right now is that it looks like the gods are giving these men too much room to perpetrate their evil. That is the movement of the gods. That is how the gods function. I don't want you to get yourself agitated over nothing. Just calm down. Even if it happens finally that today, the crown silence the king. Don't get yourself agitated. Just calm down. Keep silent and watch what is going to happen. Buffy, I, I, I don't understand. What are you talking about? Buffy, how does that even make sense? What? We are still meant to remain silent even if they go ahead to crown him king? It is one thing to crown somebody king and another thing for that person to find subjects to govern as the king. Don't be agitated. I said that already. Allow the gods to do their thing. Learn to follow the gods. That has been my secret and I want you to learn it. <laughs> Can somebody talk to the priest of a Oh, 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 oh,
Must you? Must you? They're the gods. Why do you always talk tough? Even if you must talk tough everywhere, must you equally talk tough here? I am the owner of Umungene Kingdom. And, and nothing! Silas. Nothing. I am here in my capacity as the prince of Umungene Kingdom. Who understands how the gods move? To tell you, the royalty has nothing to do with having a beautiful house. What do you mean by that? Um. This is your first time coming into this compound. If you don't mind, let's go in so that I will offer you coffee. Silas, Hilo, I'm not interested in your hospitality. I am here to remind you that royalty is deeper than putting up a beautiful edifice. Kill your ambition to become king. For I am the heir to the throne of Umungene. You are the son of the late king. And as of today, I am the heir to the throne of Umungene Kingdom. It will happen before your eyes. I will become the king. And there is nothing you will do to stop me. Did you hear me? Silas. All the strong forces in Omongeda have come together already to make me king. They are just waiting for the right time to come so they can make it obvious to the people and the truth will reign supreme. Do not make yourself available to take my place. To backfire. Oh, Dogu came out to Aka. I said, No, Dogu came out to Aka, Prince. He can't even go. Jackie, why your native doctor? On my lap, walk. In if I'm wagging, on my lap, walk. Boss, there is this intimidating aura that moves with him. Don't mind him. Hmm? He's in possession of all these uh, small, small charms. I don't mind him. In Polish, we call people like him Kruvamash. In Spanish, Putamatra. Do you know what it means? No, boss. Can somebody talk to the priest over Can somebody talk to the priest over Can you What have you decided? It is my firm belief that you have changed your mind. Hit me with it. My princess, I have not changed my mind. I have made it clear to you that Ike Dinebo has vowed to see this to the end. He cannot stop and I feel we should support him. How much do you want? How much should I offer you to make him see reason? Is that how you see me, my princess? You really believe I am one of those men 
that could be paid and they will betray their own friends? Betray? How? I cannot possibly pay you to betray my own brother. I'm only asking you to help me talk to him for him to see reasons. For crying out loud, Ike Junibo is destroying the land. No, he is not. He is actually doing a good job and I feel we should support him. Support him. I will give you the sum of 500,000 Naira right now. Send your details to me and you will get the alert. I will not give you the room to start the bargaining because I know you will increase the offer to entice me. If you like, give me all the money in the central bank. I will not betray my friend. Support him for he needs your support. Do not call me again to the palace to discuss this. Have a nice day. Hmm. What is really going on? He has surrounded himself with thy hard supporters. And no one is even listening to me. Laura, you have to come down and explain what is the problem. Can you imagine? Huh? That useless prince came to my house to threaten me. What? I mean, is he alright at all? He said some forces have already made him the king. What exactly does that mean? It means nothing. Possibly something he created to get you agitated. Please, Oma, don't play into the hands of that rat. Don't! I'm a chair. I am not playing into his hands. Who is he to get me agitated? But I'm afraid. I will not take it the next time this happens. I will teach him the lesson he will not forget. You have my support, Oma. Deal with him anyhow you deem fit. Also, Wagoya. Eh? If a cobra fails to rise and attack like a cobra, some people will conclude that it's an ordinary snake. If he told you that I said something about you, then he should be able to tell you exactly what I said. He did not tell me what you said, but I can assure you that he's not happy with what you said to him. Asa, please, please, stop inviting people here to discuss me. Because I do not discuss you with anyone. That is because I have not done anything to compromise the integrity of the royal household or destroying the land. You have been the one doing that and I will continue to seek for help until I find one. Asan says stop seeking for help. I don't need help, I'm fine. I am here. I'm in control and I'm fine. I am on my way to your house. <laughs> good. I met you on the way. Have you heard the good news? You're looking at the next king of Omungana Kingdom. Well, it's not new information. I mean, it's been flying around for a while. What I don't understand is what it's got to do with me. <sighs> I'm surprised you're asking the question. What it means is that you will be the next queen of Umungere Kingdom. <laughs> sorry, sorry. I'm sorry. Um, are you this daft that you can't tell when a woman likes you or not? 
Listen, Silas, if you like, be the king of all kings, of all the seven kingdoms around here. I will never be your wife. Do not say what you will regret later. Listen, I only stopped because I thought you had something important to say. Have a good day. You're walking out on me? Owa Napolan. Owa Wele Nukunri. Get it, thank you. Can somebody talk to the priest over What is wrong with you? Why must you walk out on him? Can you imagine? A whole owner of this land. That was so rude and disrespectful. Too. So because he is your owner, I should have knelt down to talk to him? At least, should have accorded him some respect. I mean, this is a young man that loves you and even wants to make you his wife. Why exactly. disrespect him? I can see you ladies don't want to have a peaceful stroll this evening. So I suggest you let me be and let me stroll by myself. Become friends with such an unreasonable person. Oh, I see reasons with her. No most times you need to make this man pass through the eye of the needle. They will never respect you. You think so? so? I know. Let's just allow her. Let's just let her be. Okay? She'll be fine. Let's leave her. Let's go. Do we crown him king when nobody has ever been crowned king from his lineage? Uh, in the, okay, okay, that is not an excuse at all. Money can always force anything hey. to start. Okay. Uh, when he becomes a king, <laughs> eh, it means that he is the first person in his lineage to become a king. Oh. And do you know the, the most important aspect of what we are saying yes. mm. is that you have to very beautiful house, oh. a magnificent <laughs> edifice, yeah? even more beautiful than the, the, the palace. We we'll just him. crown him there and become our king. It's a joke. What of the crown? What of the crown? Uh, Will Prince Kedini accept to release the crown for us to crown another person king? Okay. Uh, it's okay. okay. Mm. We are not even going to disturb him with that request. Oh. Okay, if he likes, let him keep the crown of his father. Mm. Uh, we can always get a crown for oh. him. Once we name him king, we will give one million naira to the commissioner of chieftains in Bawam. And they will issue him with a certificate oh. and register him as a king. Another important thing. Okay. As Belinda, the daughter of each year, has rejected him. I think he needs another woman as a wife. Is he aware of this? Uh -uh. Zobiora. Half of noon is Okonorap and Katojo. I see that you and your men have gathered. Huh? Prezi Kedinu, you are here. 
And why is that fool ringing the royal bell for you? He's ringing the royal bell because I was born into royalty. And I shall die a king. Hey, 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 stop! Stop it! Stop it! I never wanna. Hey, hey! If you ring that bell one more time, I will teach you in a brutal way that I'm still in Zobiora, that the deities are for it. Ichi, Obiora. You know that the deities do not avoid you. Stop being ridiculous. As a matter of fact, it is men like you that avoid the deities. Why? Because your hands drip of immorality. Ah, hey, Wano. Uh. Hey, Wano. Needless to remind you all that this is not in any way a friendly visit. Continue in your evil ways. Ndalolo. Hmm. Very soon, you all shall find out that men are nothing without the gods. <laughs> I can see you only want to provoke us, or maybe somebody here will slap you. Then well, you will start a well, education well, that well, will break well, well, our plan. Well, 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 let me disappoint you. <laughs> These men you see here are far above that level. Uh -huh. oh, God, that yeah. Ichie, I choose to ignore your irrelevant rant and get back to the reason I am here. I am here to remind you all that my name is Prince Ike Dinibo. I shall become the king of Umungene Kingdom and all of you, each and every one of you, will be answerable to me. And the ancestral practice of Ikamanile shall be brought back to Allah. Uh, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't want I so, uh, where my fellow, I am certain that we understand the implication of what you just eh? And uh, we see what we are engineered him. Mm. And I want us to see this as a war. But we are not afraid of war. If he wants one, we are equal to the task. Listen, he has turned us into our hands. We shall give him gunpowder. Who is a wealthy civil power, by the way? Let us pretend, let us pretend that we never had the stupid power. Okay. Let us continue with our plans. Exactly. Let's continue with our plans. Let's Let us forget about diversionary nonsense. We will send words to Onwa. Mm. He needs to get married mm. immediately. Oh, oh. Then we, we we get done with the coronation. Yes. Ka, the, ka, oh, Let oh, me know yeah. what that boy Bolavia. Honestly, I am not even finding this funny at all. I was having such a smooth relationship with you before all these things started. Obi. Now I can't even see you at will anymore. Obi. It will pass. Okay? This too shall pass. And we will overcome. These people might have created a gap between you and I, but our hearts still beat for each other. That is what is most important. We will overcome. Okay? Just hang in there. We'll be fine. I don't understand the kind of elders we have running the affairs of this kingdom. I mean, how can they settle for a character like Silas? They want his money. And the overambitious idiot is willing to spend the money. Is that even possible? To take your father's throne? A throne that belongs to your family? And give it to someone else? 
because of money? I went to Ajahn Yuku and Obim Bako. I made my intentions for Omongenino. Also solicited for their help. My love, I believe that as far as this matter is concerned, I have crossed my teeth and dotted my eyes. If the gods would allow Silas Ilo be crowned king, then I'll take it that they never liked the plans that I have for the people of Umongele. And I'll leave it at that and just move on with my business. What is the meaning of this? What were you doing at father's grave? I watched you walk in there. I went in there to pray. Do you have a problem with it, Asa? He was my father. So I have every right to know what anyone does there. Like I said, I went in there to pray. But I think you should go in there as well and pray, because you're fast. You say that? No. You are the one who is going to lose the throne very soon. No amount of prayer you say in Father's grave would save you. No amount. Do the needful and stop all this madness. For crying out loud, this is politics. Play politics with politicians. And stop moving around with native doctors. Ah, who do you refer to as a native doctor? Chief Iwuno Akodiofu. The one you call Owefu Siwe Puawo of Umongene Kingdom. He is a native doctor. He does not understand the politics going on. And please, Ikedinibo, my father is dead. Allow him rest in peace. Stop going into his room unnecessarily. And now, the spirit of my fathers, I know they are with me. Again, Ori, I fall Amen. Ah. Amen. Please. Oh, you didn't save this number. Well, uh, this is Owa Nomongene. Why are you calling me, please? I got you a new Range Rover Sports. They will deliver it to you tomorrow. Listen, I want to make you my wife. Show you, I will ensure you remain happy all the days of your life. Well, I am not interested in your range of response. You can give it to any of those beautiful and outstanding single ladies that cluster around you. I am taken. Good night. Oh, oh, oh and please, don't call my number again. Um, um, hello? Uh, uh. Where are that, Tojo? Hmm? I will get you. I will get you to the right spot I would want you to be. Nongya. Hmm? Where the propeller? Nongya. Nongya. Rubbish. How are you coping with your business with all this? Uh, the business is fine. 
you know I have capable hands. So even in my absence, um, the boys are doing well. I get reports every now and then, and I can tell you that we're staying afloat, we're fine. I heard Silas has been sharing money everywhere. He even went to the market and shared money to the people. So I heard. I was told. He has money to throw around, so let him waste it. You know, the kind of confidence you exude in the midst of all this marvels me. Ah. Uh, and Uluwe, this really is a challenge on the gods and ancestors of Umugene. I went to two sacred places. I prayed. I prayed and I prayed with faith. So if they choose to lose out on this, then it will be their loss and not mine. Odogu <laughs> okay. Indeed, the gods have blessed you. I like to see men talk like men. <laughs> Let me call Obidike. We need a fresh pan wine to celebrate. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, but you just called me the blessed one. I am the prince of Umunga. I mean, your house. I like nothing. Eh? You want pan wine? Eh? I will make a call. Eh? Uh -huh. And a gallon shall be brought um, here right away. Relax here. Yeah. <laughs> 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 One <laughs> Silas Ilo, the owner of Umungene Kingdom. Hmm. Wow, woo. Mm. Wow. Honestly, I was so surprised when I was told you were here just to see me. The beautiful one. Why would you be surprised? Huh? I've looked around this kingdom and you are the frontline beauty we have in this land. Someone like me Owa Umungene, Owa Napoland, Woke Were Nukunvi, should be friends with someone like you. <laughs> Honestly, I do not have a problem with that. Because I know full well that you always visit the palace when my father was alive. Oh, yes. But, um, you're wearing this beautiful then. You've grown into a beautiful queen. And I feel it's time you become one real time. Why do I have this feeling that you're speaking in riddles? I'm here just as my heart leads me. I'm here to seek the woman that has been giving me sleepless nights. The one my heart yearns for. And... Who is this woman, if I may ask? She's right here with me. Princess Asanze, the beauty of Umungene Kingdom. But you have always had your eyes on my brother's fiance. That was a mystic. And it is in the past now. My love, just give us a chance and I will make you my queen. Honestly, I am so confused. I don't even know what to say. You do not need to say much. 
Just say yes, and I will bring heaven down to you on earth here. for me. Yes. The gate man whispered to me on my way back that Silas Hilo was here. Is that true? Do you have a problem with that? He was my guest. How can that man be your guest, Asanze? What does he want here? Well, he came to discuss something very personal with me, which I wouldn't want to share with you now. You would not want to share with me? Asanze, I'm your brother. You now have secret meetings with an enemy of the throne and you choose to keep it from your brother. An enemy you say? That you have decided to make everyone your enemy doesn't necessarily mean that he is your enemy. So why do you refer to him as one? Well, he is my friend. My very good friend, he is not an enemy and will never be. Excuse me. My love. Please make yourselves comfortable. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> and please, um, before you instruct them to prepare something for us, just know that we are okay. Because I know you. <laughs> we are okay. I'm actually here for business. Business? Oh, yes. What sort of business is it? Okay, um, here is Mr. James Benjamin, my account officer. Mr. Benjamin, this is Princess Asanze, mm -hmm. my wife-to-be. The very one I told you that I want to make a cold signet three to my account. Excuse me? I'm sorry I didn't hear that part. Can you repeat yourself? I did the signature cards, ma. You can just fill the required columns and I will do the rest. Wow, whoa! Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! Baby, you're so sweet! <laughs> <laughs> And you are the real deal. Mm. Do not worry yourself. I've instructed my bankers in Poland to transfer all my Poland zoo to Nigeria. Oh we will be managing them. We got to know if any year ago. Your wife already. Thank you. Wow. Cut. Mm. Uh, if you need any additional information, you call me. It's fine, but I, I don't mind. I, w I want to feel it right now. Yeah, okay. If you don't mind. Uh, that would be great. Okay. <laughs> Thank you so I'm much. I'm with him. <laughs> Are you joking? Why would I be pulling your legs? This is how is what is going to happen. Oma is getting married to the princess. Why would she agree to marry him? We are not the one that gave him space. If you had accepted this proposal, you wouldn't have gone to marry the princess. Oh, stop making it sound like I'm regretting anything, because I'm not. I I'm only just feeling pity in my spirit for the princess. I mean, it shows how classless she is. Why would she agree to marry a fraud star? Well, you're just the only one saying that. Omar is a money bag, and he knows how to spend the money. Yeah, 
I mean, he offered me a Range Rover Sport last week. Are you serious? And you turned that down? Mm hmm Now I see why he left you for the princess. Belinda, you're just so impossible. Well, I know what I want in a man. And the prince, he has it all. Really? <laughs> Hello, Mr. Benjamin. Are you back in the office? Okay. Please, I would love to make an inquiry from you. I don't want you to feel bad or feel that I'm very inquisitive. You know, now that I am a signatory to that account, I want to know everything about it. Okay, thank you very much, sir. I would want to know the real balance of that account. One point five billion naira. <sighs> okay, <laughs> thank you very much, sir. Thank you so very much. Enjoy the rest of your day. Bye. Wow, woo. This guy is actually more loaded than I thought. I'm so excited that he is finally mine. Humble myself before the princess. I am going to be very direct with this instruction. I do not ever want to see Martins in this compound again. I believe you know who bears that name. Is it not your husband to be my princess? What happened, my princess? Ezazu, you are a big fool. I just gave you an instruction and you're asking me a stupid question. What I'm is sorry. wrong with you? I'm sorry, my princess. No, allow him one more time into this palace and you will be fired. Rubbish. Let it not be what I'm thinking. Omar will always cause confusion wherever he goes. Wow. <laughs> this is magical. Mm. About the best thing I've heard all my life. Mm -hmm. I mean, how did you do it, Wangwa? <laughs> I made her understand that she belongs here. Oh, yes. I exposed her to money. And she is one of the happiest women on earth. Now. <laughs> uh, I'll get married to her this weekend. And we will get down with the coronation. <laughs> By this feat of winning the princess, you have put the last nail on the coffin of the prince. <laughs> she has not even told him that we are getting married. And I'm sure he will die of shock when he finds out. That will even be better. He is full of negative energy. We don't need such a man in this kingdom right now. Did you? I invited you to brief you. I want you to start the arrangement. Ike Dinibo may refuse marrying her off to me. So I want us to find a way to do it without him. That is no problem at all. We are the owners of this land. I mean, we can maneuver anything and anyone. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. My princess, I'm so happy for you. Getting married to a man like that is a plot for any woman. Thank you so much. I pity poor Martins. Why do you have to pity him? He can easily get himself another woman to marry. Must it be me? What sort of insult is this? 
Um, I don't understand. What do you mean insult? This is Martins. Your fiance, the one that I know. You know, I saw him standing outside. And he also told me that he's been calling you and you have refused to take his calls. And then Ezaz told me that he was instructed by you not to let him into the premises. I wonder what, what is going on. So Ezaz actually executed my instruction and you still brought yourself in here? What exactly do you want here? I don't get this, princess. Wait. Did you actually leave an instruction not to let me in? What did I do? Oh my God, what part of I am not disposed to see you, don't you understand? Are you okay? Um, Asanze. Are you fine? Is your madam okay? Ikedinibo, please stay out of this. And you? Are you dumb? Can't you read the handwriting on the wall? Don't you know when a woman has interest in you and when the interest has evaporated? I haven't picked your call in days. Didn't that tell you anything? Well, if you're done with Ike Dinibo, your host, you might as well take yourself out of this palace. What's going on here? Were the both of you having issues? No. Are you sure? Not at all. I guess something is wrong somewhere. You know what? Calm down. Okay, I'll have to talk to her. Let me know what it is, okay? And I'll call you. Yeah? Thank you very much. Take it easy. I will appreciate that. You can go. I'll call you. I appreciate it. Excuse me. I already know you like the back of my palm. I knew you would follow me up here just to ask me why I did what I did. Exactly. Because it baffles me. Why you have suddenly turned hostile to Martins. Say Martins. That I have seen you here in this palace countless times making out. Mm -mm. What happened? Ikenimo, please. Do not tell that line at all. I have something important to tell you. What is it? I do not want you to read meanings into what I'm about to say. Go ahead. I am in love with Silas Ilo, the owner of Omongene, and we are getting married. You're not serious, are you? I am dead serious. I am only telling you for you to know. Not for your opinion though, for I already know what's in your mind. The same man who wants your brother dead is the same man you want to get married to? Ike Nibo, two of you are in two different political camps. It has nothing to do with me. I am not discussing politics here. I am discussing love. And I believe so well that a man like you who has traveled far and wide should know the difference. Asansi! You need prayers. You need prayers to rediscover yourself for your getting ruined. You need prayers. I'm not asking for your consent. I'm only telling you this for you to know. For information's sake, that's all. Because I know you would, you would never support me. But it's not my business. It is my life. And I will live it however I so please. Hey girlfriend. The truth is that I have really missed you. How is work? 
Work is really stressful and I miss you more. But you know I'm on leave, so I have to rush down home to get all the rest I can get. Okay, that's really nice. And who is that person calling your phone all day? Hmm. Isn't he Martins? He's so dumb. My princess, I think you should take things easy. Martins is a nice guy. But that silence of a guy is a froster. He has no legitimate business in the city. So how come he's in so money? How come he's in so much money? Oh, forget about that. Well, someday, somehow, I know he will be exposed and be disgraced. He will not be disgraced. Well, don't be surprised when that happens. It will not happen. Okay. And please, stop intruding in my privacy. This man we're talking about is my man. And very soon, he will be crowned king. And everything will be normal again. I am surprised. I am surprised you could abandon a man like Martins and set so for a man like Silas Ilo. Oh, please stop it. Stop calling him Silas Ilo as if he's a nobody. For crying out loud, this man we are talking about here is the Omwa of Omungene. Please accord him some respect. I don't like it. Say, lover, forgive me. You are looking good. That's your business. Please, did you bring what I asked you to bring for me? I see this entirely from a different angle. No, there's just one angle to this. Silas Ilo is taking my silence for cowardice. He thinks that I am stupid. And I'm going to make him pay. This is a crucial time. We must apply wisdom. Whatever you do right now will amount to descending to his useless level. You once lifted my spirit when you said that you have decided to leave everything to the cause. My friend, I want us to maintain that standpoint. But that fraud star is asking for trouble, Undulue. He's coming after my family. First he goes after Belinda, he fails. And now Asanze. Why? Why? Why is he constantly coming for people close to me? Why? Kedinibu. There is a reason for everything. Huh. When the girls decide to keep silent fools begin to think they are asleep listen my dear i have gone ahead with this if you need further explanation you get it when you return for now allow me to enjoy my life please Sister Ascendance. What happened to us? What happened to the love that we shared as siblings? I have always been there for you. I have loved you unreservedly from the moment we were this young to this point. I have watched your back. Every decision you have taken, I have stood behind you and given you full support. What is going on? Why are we falling apart? You know that I love you, Asanze. You know that I love you with every fiber in me. You are the only sister that I have in this world. What worries me is not the fact that you have chosen to ridicule this palace. By making it known to everyone that you are going to marry a man who has declared me his number one enemy. You know, Mungane. What worries me is the fact that I know you are going to regret that decision that you have taken.
Well, you don't have to worry yourself about that. Because I will not regret anything. Yes. I won't. You may never understand what he has done for me already. He has made me a co-signatory to his account. What does that tell you? I am getting married to a man who wants me to be part of his life. Asanze, you're a princess. Is this about money? It shouldn't be. Look around you. You're born into royalty. Is money the issue here? I don't think so. Look around you. You don't lack anything. Why do you want to do this to yourself? I am not doing anything to myself. And please, Ikedinimo, stop preaching to me. Because it will never change my mind. I have made up my mind already, and it stands. Asanze, you are the princess of Omongene Kingdom. And I am the crowned prince. I am going to be crowned king of Omongene the shortest possible time can you not see that I am talking to you as a king well I'm so sorry to disappoint you my darling brother you have lost that right long time ago because of your fetish and stupid interest now I need you to know that my husband will be crowned king and me the queen So you are going to be so irrelevant in this kingdom and you will blame yourself for that. Asandinze, why? Why are you not thinking like a princess? Why? Your father must have been a seer to have named you Asandinze. <laughs> and why did you say so? He saw tomorrow. Even when you were still a child, he saw how you would have looked when you grew up. <laughs> Asanze, the beauty for the high and mighty. And finally, I ended up in your arms. As my queen, and I promise to love you forever. And I will love you too, my darling. <laughs> <laughs> Oma, mm. good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. You're welcome. Mm. Where are you heading to? I want to hang out and board. Oh. Just be safe. Oh, okay. I will, I will. Go. All right. I guess he's one of your boys that helps you do business. Oh, yes. His name is Edmond. Oh. He's an expert in online stroke 3D. Oh, yes. Oh, that's impressive. You're welcome to my home. <laughs> this place had always been your home. It just took us time to find out. So now that we are finally together, we are going to make up for the times we stayed apart. By whatever standard, are you better than the princess who we finally married? Eh? Tell me! Look at the special man that came for you, and you insisted on a nobody! With all due respect, Father, Ike Dinigbo is not a nobody. He's everything Silas Ilo would never ever be. And I'd really appreciate it if you stop making my man a subject of discussion. Eh? Have you seen a classless thing? You refer to as a daughter. Have you seen her? Talking back at me? Nani. Please. We need to stop overflogging this issue. She said she is not interested. And is she in any way close to the woman he married? I will not say anything now until that man leaves you and run away from this town. Why would he run away from this kingdom? Because he has already lost the sister to the man of the moment. And in a couple of days, he will equally lose his throne. But when that finally happens, do you think that young man will stay back here in this kingdom? He will forget this fool and run away from this town. And that will be the time. I will tell you why they call me Ilopo TV, Abraham Musu. I'm more here. 
Na ibi ko woli awon ayo. Silasilo has managed to turn all the men in this kingdom into greedy men. I'm surprised that my own father allowed himself to be caught up in this web. Hmm. Ine Kwanya, he is right. Oh. Your father is right somehow. I'm telling you. What if what he just said happens? What if finally Silas Ilo becomes the king of this kingdom? Martha, we've settled this a long time ago. Mm -hmm. If he does not get the throne eventually, we will continue to live our normal lives and forget everything about royalty. And you are comfortable with that? We love each other. As woman and her man. If he gets the throne, fine. If he doesn't come, equally fine. Where are we going Where are we Once again, I have come before you with the prince. I am here with him because he is very bothered. But why will he be bothered? Well, he is bothered because it appears as if the politicians are winning this war. So I want you to look at him one more time and assure him that the gods of Omongene Kingdom will never ever abandon whatever they started. My name is Zokun. That is the plain truth. Um, Obuefi. That is exactly how I feel. I am perturbed. In spite of my very strong resistance, my sister Asanze has gone ahead to marry Silas Hilo. Purportedly, in line with the marital laws of Omongene. Not only that, Obuefi, I also gathered that somehow they have been able to get a crown with which they are going to crown him king in the next three days. It worries me. My prince, I'm not sure what you're going to do. And that will be the day, the very day the gods will decide to rudely remind them that they are mere politicians. Look at Listen. You are on the right track. And there is no human being, no person in the whole of this kingdom of Umunge that will rule this kingdom without Ofon Kume. Ofon Kume? The very often I removed from the palace the day your father joined his ancestors. It is here with me. Don't worry. Allow your sister Asanze to go about fooling herself, beating about the bush, displaying her, displaying her ignorance. Exploring vanity. Finally, reality will hit her. Is that not exactly what I told you? That you have no reason to be bothered. No, 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 no. You have to leave politicians to play their politics. Apart from taking you to Aja and Yuku and the Bimba to pray, I have gone back there on my own to pray one more time to the ancestors of Omo Kingdom. I reminded them that this is war and that they must not allow politicians to win this war. Because if it happens, that politicians are recorded to have won. That will be the end of our tradition in this kingdom. Including Ibo. I, I want us to leave it just like that. Thank you, boy. I have made up my mind. It's open, open, and Take your useless food out of my sight. I said, take your useless food out of my sight. 
off my side and stop making efforts to please me because you are a disobedient child. Are we still on this matter, Father? Your so-called Oma has gotten married and will be crowned king tomorrow. It has nothing to do with it. It has everything to do with me because that same man that will become king tomorrow will not be my son-in-law. But now what happened? The useless girl I call my daughter decided to stick to a loser. You are now bringing food. Take your useless food out of this place and stop showing your face. If not, I will get you injured. Nonsense. So father, you will starve yourself. Because your daughter wisely refused to marry a fraudster. There's God in everything that we do. Let's remember. If truly you know God, do you know Ten Commandment? Do you know what he said? He said, children, obey your parents. And now you are telling me God. Anytime you talk about God in this house, you will know why they call me Lopukete. Opera Mosu. I'm not here. It will so suddenly call me sick. Idiot. Budu nina apagari yaba. I am equally surprised that even the leadership of the youth have equally decided to leave everything to the girls. You know that I also hear that Silas you know, offered the youth the sum of five million naira to attend his coronation as king, and they turned him down. You know, when that happened, tears left my eyes. It spoke to me in different ways. It made me understand that the gods are really moving. And that is the only explanation that anyone can give. That the youth of Umungene unanimously rejected the whopping sum of five million naira. Surprising. And elected to stand for the truth. That is only possible with the ghosts. You know, I've been thinking to myself that if the gods fail me and allow Silas to be crowned king of Umon Kenya, I'll pack my things, take my woman with me, count my losses and relocate abroad. And what is going to happen to your large aluminum company? Oh, I have um, found a lot of trust in a way if you see where I go. Uh, he's a noble man. He will make a very good manager. And did you know that he runs an aluminum company somewhere in Sakla? Mm. Oh yes, he does. So I trust him to take care of business. Okay. So have you discussed with him and he agreed? Not yet. I'm still watching the gods. As they move. He doesn't eat my food anymore. And that only means one thing. He doesn't want me in the houses again. Why? Don't worry about it. I'm going to leave for my my uncle's place, my dad's brother. That one that stays in that black and I have a taxi waiting for me with my stuff. Don't go. Please, don't go. You know I'll miss you. Please. Oh. Can, you, can you stay? Okay, you know what? I mean, this is all sudden. Okay, for me. Give me one day. Let me shop for you. Let me let me get you ready for this journey. I, I, I will take you myself so that you're crying. Stop, stop. I'll be fine. I won't be fine without you. Stop crying. Stop crying, eh? Hey. I'll call you. I love you.
I feel you should have allowed her to stay. Why allow her to travel all the way to her uncle's place at Abagana when she can comfortably stay here? You know, statements like this remind me that you know nothing about royalty. How can you ask that I let her stay here when I'm not married to her yet? This anomaly that you preach is part of what I stand against in Omonkana. Your sister has been bringing Martins to the palace. And how beautiful has her life become. Let's drop this topic in the way and focus on positives. Belinda, listen to me. I am your uncle. My home is your home. Forget about what happened and move on. Thank you, uncle. You don't need to thank me. Do not take hard on yourself. And do not blame your father for what he did. He will not disown you. Never. Sometimes we parents feel our choices for our children are always the best. But I told him, Uncle. I told him that I would know no happiness if I married Silas. And he made it clear that he doesn't care about my happiness. Can you believe he stopped eating my food? My father threatened to destroy my face if he sees me again. I had to follow my heart. Now listen. I have never told you this before. My mother died a year before you were born. And I told my sister that my mother came back in you. She laughed. But seeing what you just did, standing on your conviction, I now confirm what I told my sister some time ago. Relax. Feel at home. If you don't like the room I gave you, I'll give you another one. Everywhere. It's yours. Thank you. Welcome, my dear. Thank Welcome. You. Stand, Thank up, you. stand up, stand up. Stand up. It's okay. It's okay. Blinda's supposed to be back by now. Back to where? Eh? My, calm down. You're taking this too far. Don't land our daughter in trouble. Though. That is what she deserves for being stubborn. Thank God she's not the only child. Our elder brother is doing well with his family in Oka. He never disobeyed me for once. Mm. Her line is not going through. Eh? At least we're supposed to know her whereabouts. Well, if that will make you feel better, she is with your brother Nelson. He called to inform me. Hi. Thank God. She has really made me happy by not running off to be with the prince. Do I call her? Oh. Can you go in and get me something to eat? Sure. My prince. Yes. I understand perfectly where you are coming from and your position on this matter. And believe me, the youth also understand it that way. There is one thing I want you to do for me. You see, this morning we'll be having our meeting. 
please i want you to come around and address the youth by yourself so that Nzobiora and his co-travelers will feel that i am pained by the things that they do silence Ibezim. silence is golden and i have chosen to remain silent and let the gods speak. My prince, I don't want to have anything against your decision. If this is the way you want it, then let it be. I was told that Silas gave the youth um, <laughs> a whooping sum of five million naira. You turned it down, is that true? Not only that, my prince. Do you know, he also promised to give us three. One, two, three bosses. According to him, so that we can function well when the international market kicks off. And we told him we are not interested. Do you know what? <laughs> I think he's still battling with that shock. <laughs> Who wouldn't be shocked? I was when I heard of it. He goes to show that um, you guys know what you're doing. You know, I was surprised too. Because it was as if we had a meeting before then to take such decisions. <laughs> right. <laughs> but we, we never met. He was still speaking. When the whole youth with one voice told him to leave with his five million naira. And even forget about the bosses. Do you know? You know, we even told him that, okay, if eventually the gods decide to make him king and even they want to be in charge of the international market, then at that point, uh, we will now understand that that's the decision of the gods who will now come and discuss with him. <laughs> you all have done well. You all have done well, eh? Um, I would like to give the youth the sum of one million now, just to make merry. Just so that you all know that you're not working with that great. No, oh, nah, my priest. You don't need to disturb yourself so much. What for now? Eh? Apo ni ya na. Oya biko no. Eh, amam na buru ni jego. Wana ndi ibo si no bu opini fiche kwa ni mi. Apo ezo kiki ko. So jide go ni nka. Let me make the cash available to you. Ike di ibo moko ma. This is the kind of person we need to work with. Job I think I'm happy with this man. No, don't worry, my daughter. I'm almost done. Mama, why are you the one sweeping? Where is Belinda? Uh, uh, she traveled to Abagana to see my brother. And she didn't tell us? Uh, it, it wasn't planned. But everything is all right, though. So bad you Okay, Mama. Her number has not been connecting. Sadly. Please, when she comes back, tell her we are here to see her. Okay, I will. Maybe it's battery issue, but I will tell her. She will soon be back, though. Eh. Yeah. All right. Oh, well, my regards to your mothers, oh. Oh, mama, mama. please. In my capacity as the current head of administration in the Mungene Kingdom, with written and signed approval of all the men in leadership positions in Numungene, having fulfilled all the requirements in our constitution as amended, I hereby crown you 
His Royal Majesty Eze Omenka for Nanya One of Umungene Kingdom. Your glorious reign commences now. When you make up for Nanya, when you make up for Nanya, you can see me out, make up for Nanya. It's a good one. Thank you so much, my elders. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I feel honored to be found worthy and fit for this crown. Omenka Folonaya Gemepuyozo Unafuya. And and to my beautiful <laughs> Outstanding, <laughs> alluring, and shining queen of Umungere Kingdom. <laughs> you are such a blessed woman. From a princess to a queen. queen. <laughs> what else could you have asked for? Me nothing. Me absolutely nothing, my husband. <laughs> Beautiful one. I will make you the happiest woman on earth. Hmm. Henceforth, you will swim in the ocean of wealth and <laughs> happiness. <laughs> Thank you, my king. Mm, please sit. Thank you, my husband. Hmm. 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 Hey. Oh, oh, hey, this again, this again. <laughs> this again, this again. Oh, one, oh, wow. Ezo mm. men kafolona, ezo men kafolona ya. His royal majesty. Ezo men kafolona ya. Ezo men kafolona. Um, Edas. Um, Edas. We have to. Hey! Holy Mary Mother. Oh, Father. Uh -huh. Father. Look at him. We have already crowned him. Then he collapsed on his throne. Father. The evil forces are at work. They are at work, please. They will not succeed. Amen! For our Lord Jesus Christ has made the public show of the devil. Amen. Amen. patri et fili et spiritus sanctus. Amen. Amen. I command you, evil spirit occupying this body, to leave in the name of Jesus. For you have no place here. Amen. 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 Father, what is that least issue? I don't think this is a spiritual issue. <laughs> he should have called in a doctor. What is wrong with my husband? Please. He's dead. May his soul find rest in the please. bosom of the Lord. Oh, 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 oh. It's okay, it's okay. Father. 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 Okay, well, Remember. 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 We don't have to stand like this. Mm. At least we need to dismiss the people before another calamity happens. Mm. Yes, I have done that already. I have also asked some women to consult the princess. Mm -hmm. yes. A king dying on the day of his coronation mm. and on his throne. I have never seen a thing like this before. Abomination. Mm. Odi who, who could have done this? Who else is after us? And the poison the mind of the prince. It is a way for see what He threatened me last week. Okay. The okay. You will go with me. And for the rest, you take care of the remains. Uh, we will we'll discuss on the burial when we come back. Oh.
Okay, Governor, where is you? That is the man. That is the wizard. You have to teach him the lesson of his life. Yes. See him. What? Are these the people you called us to come and beat up? Or will we see Will Pahu and the Crown Prince of our land? Oh, go shut up, you head of vigilante. We are the people who pay you every month and you must carry out our instructions. Yes. Beat them up. Excuse me, sir. You pay us every month does not mean we should start moving around and start beating people that have done nothing wrong. Okay, let me tell you. He's a, a wizard. He's a wizard. He's an evil man who has links with all the occults on earth. It's from here that he sent the evil forces that killed Onwa of Umungene kingdom yeah. after we crowned the king. He has to pay for his evil. Yes, he has to pay. Pay. Look at him. Look at Please, 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 This is what I'm thinking. The gods. The gods are not asleep. <laughs> Thank God you'll save my husband. Three deaths in just a day? <sighs> Something is wrong somewhere, and I am very scared. Who could be behind this? Is it the prince? It can't be the prince. He is not that fast. All fingers are pointing at the evil man. Obuefisi Wepoaro. Kimba. Nani. From what is going on in Umugene right now, I do not think that Obuefisi Wepoaro is the evil one. How do you mean? If the confirmed wizard is not the evil man, then who is the one? Is it you? Huh? Really big in the way. Bigger than I expected. You do not need to murmur it. It is indeed very big. Three deaths in one day. I mean, there is no way anyone can describe that if not tragic. As the days go by, I'm beginning to understand even more the power of the truth. But I feel you should have gone to see the chief priest instead of coming back home. Obu, if you asked me to go back home, oh. I will handle it. Oh, Merigo. Oh, hmm. Without mixing words, we should be thinking of how to move forward. I can't believe that in Zobiora and in Zetidioke are no more. Gone like that. Zokeke, we have already buried the dead. This is no longer time to lament. We must move on. That's why we are here. 
Nzeake Kuchawa. You are the one that convened this meeting. So we are going to allow you to define how we are going to proceed. Exactly. It is obvious that the gods have a hand in what happened. Exactly what my spirit is telling me. But I wanted it to come from you. They were killed by the gods. So we have to be very careful going forward. We cannot just conclude that they were, we are killed by the gods. So it is not a conclusion that we can reach without a proper guide. So who is going to give us a guide? The same way if we use a bar that will conclude in council here never to consult again. But the question is, how do we do that? How? the meaning of what you just said? The rubbish they said is that the gods killed my father. And therefore, he will be forgotten now that he has been buried. We are not even permitted to mourn him. Huh? Deep down in my heart, I nurse this pain. Because you were the one that killed my father. What is what exactly is going on? Are you trying to tell me? Silas, the Owa of Omongene, was your father? Yes. Owa was my father. You married him because of his wealth. Am I lying? Listen, woman, you're such a loser. I am in charge of his business and the co-signatory to all his accounts. As his nest of king, I will make sure you leave this house with nothing. Dreaming? What is happening? The Silas is your father and you are his nest of kin? He never told me that. Well, I don't know what he told you. Omar was my father and all this why he worked with the elders to become king. I was the one in charge of his businesses. Silas, how could you do this to me? That means he lied to me. He never told me the truth. I don't have an answer to that. But I will give you a condition. A condition? Yes. What condition? Okay. Listen. You have not mourned your husband because you are not permitted to. Hmm? So technically, you are not a widow. I will make you the mother of my children. Yes. What? Have you gone mad? Can you hear yourself speak? You, my late husband's son, wants to make me his wife. What sort of abomination do you want to commit? Listen. We are men that make money the hard way. Whatsoever you call abomination has nothing where we are. 
whatsoever that belonged to my father now belongs to me. I will make you the mother of my unborn children. That is the only way you can remain here. But if you refuse, you are free to go. You have to leave before you see the other side of the son of the mafia. I'm doomed. I am doomed. Silas, what did I ever do to you to deserve this? Hello. Hello, Mr. Benjamin. Please, I need a vital information from you. Because everything is crashing before my very own eyes. I'm sorry about what happened. Please accept my condolences. I also need you to make inquiries about the account. I'm sorry, madam. But you can no longer make inquiries on the account. You are no longer a signatory to the account. What are you saying? You gave me the form and I filled it. What are you saying? Yeah, but then your late husband came to the bank later and changed it back to what it used to be. Edmund Ilo, his son, is the beneficiary of the account. If you need to know anything about the account, get him to make the call. Oh my goodness. Oh my. Oh my. I am finished. Silence. So all you did was for me to say yes? Oh, finished. <laughs> what am I landing myself? What have I done? I have already given her a condition that will guarantee her stay. If she agrees, then we are fine. On what condition did you give her? That she will be my wife. Yes. She will be the mother of my unborn children. If she refuses, she leaves. Edmond, do you actually realize that Princess Asanze is older than you, sir? I you think I cannot marry her. Makutu, give me a break. Age is just but a number. Makutu. My father made an excellent choice in her, and I am ready. I mean, I am prepared to love her genuinely. Edmond, you better start in time to forget about that ambition of yours. Asanze can never agree to offer herself to you. Besides, it is even an abomination. Ha -ha. Then tell her, tell her to be prepared. She will go. Your father dealt the gods and the ancestors and he paid heavily for it. He paid the ultimate price. Do not make the same mistake. Hmm? And what has the gods and the ancestors got to do with my desire to marry a beautiful woman? Makutu, have you been looking at that babe? Have you seen her shape? The figure? The book? Makutu, that babe is outstanding beautiful shut up all i know is that you have been lost in after your late father's wife even while he was alive you are sick how dare you get for me now before it consumes you makito do you know what you are fired how dare you talk to me like that edmond you cannot fire me for i already made up my mind to leave Working with your father was a mistake, and staying with you would be a disaster. You were so lucky that I did not come down with my gun. I would have blasted your head open right now. Right now. Edmund, you cannot kill me. I need to remind you, or rather advise you, not to come for me. Because if you try it, I mean if you dare, I'm going to turn you off. Mom, 
You're welcome. Mm? <laughs> Mm. Oh, visitor. Oh, this is your glass, eh? I'll take mine with this. Can I go to Maya? Call the quaker. You can have your drink, eh? Thank you. Are you visited? Uh, um, your friend. The prodigal princess is back in the palace. Are you aware? Yes, I am. I was with her yesterday at the palace and she was lamenting so bitterly. I mean, why is she lamenting now? When she knows she is the core architect of her misfortunes. Listen, she shouldn't be allowed to hold anyone responsible. How do you mean? I mean, she was married to Onwa. Excuse me, what are you talking about? Which marriage? <laughs> she wasn't married to anyone. The so-called marriage to Silas Silo was a mere aberration. An aberration? What a very strong word to use. Vivian, let me ask you one question or two. Okay. To whom was her bride price paid? To the elders who destroyed this land. Who gave her out in marriage? The same evil elders. You see, my happiness is that finally we saw how they ended up. You see, your friend, the princess, she needs to thank her stars. Because she would have died in the process. You are sounding as if the youth executive had already discussed it in a meeting. We have not. We are only trying to console a sister. On your better part, they have been on make a You know, we cannot share in her pains. She was never married. That is an obvious fact. And her prayer now should be, let the right man come for her, whom she can call. Her own. Okay. Don't, don't forget she's beautiful. She is. Take your drink, please. Mm? Obuevi. I, I am thinking that we should go ahead with our original plan of crowning Ikednibo the king. Ibezim, this land is terribly desecrated. So, sure. And uh, I am waiting for things to be put on proper perspective. Okay. It's like the breeze of deceit and evil that filtered in into this kingdom. And you're waiting for that breeze to travel very far from here before we can think of anything. But my, my concern is, when will this time be? Listen, the men, all the men who perpetuated the sacrilege, all of them must present themselves for spiritual cleansing. It must happen before we can think of any coronation. Hmm? I see. I see. Uh, that reminds me. Someone told me he saw you taking cows to Ajanugu and Obimbako. Exactly. You have a problem with that? I'm just asking them. Those are cows. Cows we promised to the ancestors. We pleaded with them that if they will allow what was stolen from us to be restored, that we are going to give them cows. And that's exactly what they did for us and that's why we took the cows to the, 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 the deities that you just identified. Okay. In the ceremony, we start by 2 p.m. today and everyone is invited. Anuyakang. Today. Go and tell other people. Ah. Let them gather that place so we can, we can celebrate. Ah! <laughs> Thanks to the gods. So. <laughs> huh. yeah. Thanks to the gods. Yeah. My prince, I am really happy for you. Thank you. You know, Obimbako and Daja Nyoku yesterday. were filled with people, people who were genuinely happy. 
you could see Omungene come to life again. The youth came out in mass. I was shocked. They were there dancing merry. You know, we had three cows. And the way you missed. <laughs> you missed. You should have been there. Uh, you should have been there. You missed. Mm -hmm. You missed. But however, it turned out well. Uh, it turned out well. Good to know. Good to know. It turned out well. You have really won the battle. Thank you. <laughs> you can see how all your enemies are all perishing. Ah. You know that um, what is happening right now to these men were not my original intention. My, my, my hope was that, you know, we can all be alive and witness a new Omega. These men brought this upon themselves. That's just the truth. And everyone is aware of that. And based on what has happened, mm. you will equally need to hold the big ceremony here in the palace. <laughs> and I, Dulwe, will be donating one million naira to that. Ah, <laughs> thank you, Ndulwe. Ndulwe, thank you very much. As for another ceremony, we'll have to hold off on that for now um, and watch all unfolding events get to the climax um, before we can reconverge again and celebrate. But at that point, I'd like to have the love of my life, Belinda. Aside. <laughs> <laughs> Belinda. Cheers to that. <laughs> Cheers. We have one year, Zaba. We have to see what we can have. You are the great man of my kingdom, and that is why I always come to you. I have discussed extensively with the prince, and I am in a position to confirm to you that he is not happy with the deaths. And no one is happy with the deaths. Because those men went too far in their determination to prove that the gods are dead. And the gods are not dead. Of course I know. I know. So the gods decided to prove themselves by themselves. That is it. So there is no other option than I have to tell you. Go to the prince. Tell him to or take things easy. Let him not get angry at all. So. No, I believe as the eye of the gods, you know more than us. So you should be able to tell me what is the way forward. The way forward is that the men have not actually made up their mind to come to me. At least for purification and cleansing. Rather, they are planning for that. More onslaught wanting to continue in their evil way, in their mistakes. And that is why the gods are watching them. The gods decided to keep quiet and watch. And my very self at my position, I, I am equally sitting, watching them from afar. Okay, as you are watching them from afar, are you confirming to me that you can then go ahead and start planning for the coronation? Welcome, <laughs> madam. I have not confirmed such and I will never, never confirm such. At all. Because there is no peace in the air at the moment. There must be peace first and foremost before any king will emerge and survive it. Because the emergence of a new king definitely will bring down the peace. Yes. So, those men, instead of having a rethink, are continuing in undermining the gods, undermining the activities of the gods. Yeah. So, I, I, I just have to tell you this. From my angle, we have to sacrifice more days. We need to wait for more days, possibly weeks, or maybe as it pleases the gods.
What sort of insult is this? Um, I don't understand. What do you mean insult? This is Martins. Your fiance, the one that I know. You know, I saw him standing outside. And he also told me that he's been calling you and you have refused to take his calls. And then Ezaz told me that he was instructed by you not to let him into the premises. I wonder what, what is going on. So Ezazu actually executed my instruction and you still brought yourself in here? What exactly do you want here? I don't get this, princess. Wait. Did you actually leave an instruction not to let me in? What did I do? Oh my God. What part of I am not disposed to see you, don't you understand? Are you okay? Um, Asanze. Are you fine? Is your madam okay? Ikedini will please stay out of this. And you? Are you dumb? Can't you read the handwriting on the wall? Don't you know when a woman has interest in you and when the interest has evaporated? I haven't picked your call in days. Didn't that tell you anything? Well, if you're done with Ike Dinibo, your host, you might as well take yourself out of this palace. What's going on here? You did absolutely nothing wrong to me. I was just being a fool. Greetings, my princess. What is it? One Edmond that introduced himself as the son of your late husband is outside. He said he wants to see you. He's outside now? Yes, my princess. All right, bring him in. Thank you, my princess. I know that you'll be wondering what I came here to do. I will advise you go straight to the point. I don't have all day. Okay. I will start by saying I am sorry. You're sorry? For what exactly? For the request. It dawned on me that I should not have made that request. A lot of things are going wrong in my business front. I made an inquiry and they said that your father is angry with my family and that he would destroy everything, everything we have if I don't make this move. How possible is that? I mean, what, where exactly are you driving at? My father died last year and he has been buried. So what are you saying? Your father was a king. He still has his eyes on his family. I want to pay for damage. Yes. I want to pay for the pain and frustration my father caused you. They say that you must forgive my family before your father will lose the spiritual grip he placed on my family. And what makes you think my forgiveness will be based on what you can pay? Uh, nothing actually. I just felt I should not approach without a tangible offer. Princess. No, 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 no. You don't have to kneel. You don't have to. Edmund, listen. I do not have anything against you. As a matter of fact, I have forgiven you. You don't have to pay anything. I have moved on with my life. And I will advise you to do the same. Thank you. Ezazu will see you out when you're ready to leave. Okay. Excuse okay. me. Okay. Thank you. What a beautiful woman my father got for himself. She is not as greedy as I thought. I have been waiting for you to say something about our daughter and you're not doing anything. What do you want me to say? With all that has happened, don't you think it's time for you to go and bring our daughter back home? Eh? 
She's still a daughter of Umung in the kingdom. And I'm to this family. See, Nai, in all honesty, you are treating that girl with so much content. And I, I, I don't like it though. Let me be sincere with you. I have been thinking about this all this while. But I lack the face to open the discussion. If not that she stood her ground, my daughter would have been a widow by now. May God forbid. That is what we will always say. But you agree with me that I was more of a beast. I did not consider all that she was saying. Thank God she resisted me to the last. It is not your fault. It's not anybody's fault. Eh? Because of what was going on then, we all thought that Silas was the best for her. Now we know better. You, you need to go and bring her back. Eh? She's still our daughter. I want our family to come back the way it used to be. Pikonunu, need my daughter back home. Let's go get seen on It's okay. This one you are in the house. This side. Mm. Uh, it's here you look at the You don't need to ask if there is problem because obviously there is. I'm on my way to Nzake Kuchoma's house. Mm. Uh, we need to find a solution to our problem. Listen, I had a terrible dream last night. I can't explain it. Nothing is working at all. Same here, my brother. Eh? Same here. I don't understand either. We don't need to waste time. Let's go. Let's go and meet him. I was thinking of calling a meeting. But I'm glad we all got out on our own. Zake Uchawa. A man whose house is on fire does not go after rats. Listen, something is wrong somewhere. And we cannot continue to pretend as if nothing is wrong. Mzo Keke, we all need to understand that we are all in this problem together. You all, you, you know my, my son Chigozi, the one with his Snow brother at Tungbo, helping him with his business. Uh, yes, we know him. What about him? Chigozie took ill mysteriously. And from all indications, it is obvious it is not something hospital can handle. His brother has been restless ever since then. I, I have been thinking of going to Tungbo myself. But then, I think all is not well with me. I hardly sleep at night. It is from one nightmare to another. Same Yenze. We are all experiencing the same problem. In fact, as I talk to you, I don't sleep at night because I'm afraid of nightmares. <laughs> so what do we do? Now, let us humble ourselves and go to the chief priest. <laughs> What will the people say? Ah, don't you think they will report us in the church? Hmm. What have they done since we shot ourselves in the legs? Oh. Huh? Let the people say what they like. We must take the bull by the horn. It is our problem. That's it. That's it. And we must solve it together. Listen, I'm ready. We can't even start going from here. Kaka, 
Ewo fu de ne mapu o ya fu no nwo to ga zo bu boya anya. I said there is something. Ewo fu mbe mo jo yo nu. Ewo fu kru de ne tu fu ya fu no fu bo ga zo bu boya anya. Ogumagana the chameleon said this for the fact that the forest is on fire will not make me lose the dignified walking steps of my fathers I intentionally decided to wait for you because the moment a naked and they get the bird starts flying without perching. Then the hunter, the shooter, will equally begin to shoot without aiming. Obuevi, we is over. Nine. Please. We are here with grieved hearts. We are here for solutions. All we've been hearing since we got here are proverbs. Yes, says a more. Please, the eyes of the gods, speak to us in the language that you can understand. Please. And proverbs, we cannot do without. Proverbs, we can never, never do without. Two things are involved. Two things are involved. First and foremost, you have to go to the very one you offended and tender an apology. Yes. Secondly, all of you must be prepared to pass through the great sacred and ancient ritual of marking of tongues. Ika Manila. You were parading yourselves as Zenozo. Why you are not? So, by passing through the sacred and ancient ritual of Ikamanile, you, uh, you will become part of the Zenozo group. If failing to do that, it means you go and announce to the entire people of Umungen that you are no longer part of the Zenozo group. I repeat, you have to go around the entire kingdom of Umungere and let the people know that you are no longer members of the Zenozo group. Hmm. Well, wish. If you refer to yourselves as Zenozo anymore in this land without doing what I have asked you to do, that is the marking of tongue, the ancient sacred ritual of Ekamanile. Well, you wish. To undergo the ritual of ancient and sacred Ikamanile, marking of tongues. What you will see, what you will pass through, what you will experience will be more deadly, will be more dangerous than what they saw. What you will see, what you will pass through. Boy, <laughs> thank you, Dalo. Exactly, Obuevi. That is why we are here. Yes. We did not even go back to our various houses. Yes. Immediately the chief priest said all that he said. We decided to come see you immediately. Please, make it easy for us. Oh, Bikukene. Oh, Buefi. Please, we are sorry for our past behaviors. Biko. Tamper justice with mercy. Yes, we will. We will. We can tap and talk about it. No, no. We will be pleased. We are ready to change our ways for good. Please. The last time the elders were in my compound, they came to warn me to desist from the truth. Finally, today, elders are here in my lobby to embrace the same truth. Hmm. I am indeed very impressed because it shows. We are making progress in the kingdom. 
Exactly, Obuevi. We've made progress. We have known the truth. But our peace is being taken away. Mm. We are being tormented by forces that we cannot explain. Those are the forces that keep the land. Yes. Even um, Jesus the Christ in your Bible, if you ask those that read Bible, they will tell you that he mentioned of principalities and powers in the Bible and went for that to talk about some spirits in high places. Who are the principalities? Who are the powers? You may not be able to understand. But let me ask you. Now, if you are not at peace with the principalities that are in charge of a particular area, how can you live in peace there? Let us not go into all these esoteric dimensions. You could tell us what to do to be free again. Exactly what the chief priest already said. Chief priest has already told you what you are going to do. I cannot add anything. Okay. The prince was the person you offended, not me. The prince is determined to restore sanity in our land. Therefore, if now you have decided to be right at the same page with the prince, I think you have to go to him and explain yourselves. Let me tell you, the prince is a nice guy. He's going to listen to you. Okay? Oh, Boyfi. Miko, if I may ask, uh, are you going to go with us? Yes. <laughs> yes. Go with you, there's no problem. But if you want to move me, you are going to move me with a ram and the ten tubas of yam. Oh, 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 oh Belinda, my darling, calm down. Listen, this victory is a victory for all of us so that we can move on. Uh, as the good people of Omongene, it is not a victory so that we can hold animosity against anyone. Huh? Well, you're right, my prince. You know I can never argue with you. But I'm not just going to pack my things and leave my uncle's house back to my father's house. He has to call my uncle to apologize. That is the only way my uncle will believe that he's truly sorry for making the house unbearable for me. True, true. I see sense in what you're saying. Um, and I am sure that your father would not have a problem with apologizing. You know my father is very stubborn. And it's that stubbornness that got us to where we are right now. My love, calm down. Listen, it is a new era in Omo Ingene, and we must learn to forgive not just forgive but forgive and forget okay your father will do what is right okay of course babe you know i love you eh? i love you so much and i can't wait to hold you in my arms forever and i love you too my prince i love you so so much and i can't wait to see you <laughs> Belinda. <laughs> I'm sure it's that's your man that always keep you company through phone calls. Yes, Uncle. He's the best thing that has ever happened to me. Oh, I love that. Relax. Be happy. <laughs> I'm going somewhere. See you later. Thank okay, you, Uncle. <laughs> I am very glad that finally we are sitting like this again in the palace right before the prince. I am indeed very delighted. <laughs> Although it cost us one ram and ten tubas of yam to bring you here with us, 
We are still happy we have you here. Okay, Bujonga, please. Don't stand that way. Don't make it appear as if I have defrauded you. That is not the case. What you gave me is my entitlement. As the only properly initiated onion Zenozo in Umungene presently. By the time you, 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 you submit yourselves and pass through that same process of hey, come and heal, you all will be qualified to make same demand from other people. My prince, I am sorry. I am sorry. I am sorry. We erred grievously by believing there are no gods and ancestors, by believing we can abandon the ways of our fathers and replace them with something else. We learned the hard way. We seek for your forgiveness. Please. My prince, it is said that when a man defecates on his way up, that when coming back, he will be accosted by flies. We are indeed ashamed of ourselves. It is greed for money that made us do what we did. We are sorry, my prince. My prince, we have realized our mistakes mm. and we are ready to make amends. Mm. Yes. Thank you very much, elders. You have all spoken well. <laughs> I am very happy that we're all privileged to be seated here together to devise ways in which this beautiful community can move forward. All I ever wanted was peace, unity, and justice. Collecting bribe. Sleeping with all the people's wives. Depriving the less privileged of their rights. Selling lands in our community and sharing the money amongst yourselves. Collecting money from dubious politicians to perpetuate evil in Omungene does not in any way make for good qualifications for someone who calls himself an elder in council. Mm -hmm. Talk more of one who claims to be an Uzenoz. Mm. It is not right. Mm. But all of that happened because we neglected the ways of our fathers. Definitely. Mm. Let me ask you. Mm. You all connived and watered down the prestigious and also monetized it and made it available to all these little boys who come here to flaunt cash right in front of you. Even the Bible admonishes evil doers from perpetuating evil. In many places. We cannot live like that, you know, Mungena. For it is not right. Mm -mm. Now let me ask you. These men that you all collected monies from and made them believe that they were part of this fictitious organization that you set up that you called in Zenozo Group. Are they here right now to protect you from the wrath of the gods? Oh, they are not here. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Why? Because they feel they got what they paid for. And right now they are out of the picture. And you're here to face the bronze and live with the consequences of the actions that you have taken. But let me remind you all that if this man had gone through the ancient practice of Ika Manile, not only would they have acted accordingly, but they would have acted differently. Who to according? Who to according? Hmm? My prince, 
we are ready to go through the process. Yes. Yes. Mm. Now. I'm happy to hear that. Um, uh, there is this beautiful adage that you use very often. Ese na osita de bamba. Oh, de balubo. Oh, de balubo. It is good. <laughs> That we have all agreed. I shall speak with the chief priest and we will pick a date. And I'll get back to you. <laughs> 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 that you don't judge a book by its cover. Mm -hmm. Honestly, if you are a good man. Thank you. But actually, I am a man who is committed to peace. Absolutely. You may call me the most misunderstood man in this kingdom. And you will not be far from the truth. I don't have any problem with anybody. My only problem is I had to see things being done the wrong way. I had to see people leading other people astray. That was my main problem with his letting Zobiora. Because to him, everything was money. Everything was money to the human being. This is now a new era of peace. Mm -hmm. And we shall all live long to enjoy it. <laughs> we shall all live long to enjoy it. That is it. I think I, I, I completely agree with you. You know, one thing our people must never forget is that the tradition of a people is their secret unto success. Show me a people that abandon their tradition and I will show you a people that are destined for doom. A compendium of knowledge. This is a new era in our life, like you said, and we have to live to enjoy what is coming. I think we have to... Honestly. <laughs> Let us share for the new beginning. No, I don't know. 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 My prince, you are welcome. Thank you very much, Mazi. Thank you, thank you. It is good to be here. Dalo Mazi, thank you very much. And I also want to thank you for allowing her stay with you through these times. So you, you see, I would have been here um, earlier, but um, a lot was going on in Omongenai that required my presence. My prince, I hold nothing against you. She's my daughter. And I know both of you, we are talking over the phone several times each day. <laughs> you would not let me rest. That is because your voice kept me going, baby. Thank you for standing by me through those times. You're welcome, my lord. And if I had the opportunity to do it again, I would do it over and over and over again. Anyway, I had all that happened. Look, sometimes things like this happen, but all is for good. But I'm really proud of you too, for not giving up on your love. Uh, there was no way we could have given up on, on each other. We knew um, from the deepest part of our hearts that uh, we wouldn't be able to live without each other. Everything is fine now. Um, peace has returned to Umung. The elders have accepted to do what um, they vehemently disagreed with and rejected. So we're all fine now. That is a good news. And I know that nothing Nothing will ever stop you from taking her as your wife. Nothing will stop me. Um, however, I'm still waiting on her father, Ichi Lobutife. He has a role to play um, in all of this. But as soon as he does what he's meant to do for us, we shall become man and wife. Oh, my prince. That will be great. Let me um, get you something to eat real quick before you head to because you know how much I have missed your cooking. <laughs> I'll be back soon. All right, baby.
thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I'm coming. I'm coming. Well, <laughs> My prince, once again, you're welcome. Thank you. The one who, as an ordinary Ichie, refused me her daughter as a wife. <laughs> you have come to see me today. No, you are welcome to my palace. Uh, to what do I owe this visit? Uh, you know I feel very pained hearing that. But now everything is settled. Mm. And that is why I have come to apologize to you. I am sorry. It's fine. Destiny can be delayed, but cannot be changed. Right. Now I know that you and my daughter are destined to be together. <laughs> you have my full support. Hello. I have accepted you as my son-in-law again. <laughs> and I promise to make up for the time I wasted for you. It is fine, no, yes. <laughs> You wasted no time at all. We went through an ordeal that was necessary for proper understanding so that we can move forward as a people. Eh? So it is fine. But let me take this special gift as uh, my first gay uh, <laughs> for having you join the prestigious Zenozo group. You know, Mo. Once again, you're welcome. <laughs> and speaking of your daughter, I want you to know that things are fine with us. We kept talking, we kept communicating. Even all through the times that, you know, the tension was higher, we went through that phase of unnecessary politics, we were talking. Because our love for each other is real. <laughs> I love your daughter. She's my queen. I will always be my queen. <laughs> I am happy to hear that. Thanks immensely for what you have done for us. You're welcome. I know exactly what to do. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I trust you. Uh, for the first time, let me entertain you. Ah, my prince. <laughs> don't don't <laughs> bother. Don't bother. I'm really sorry for what I did to you, my daughter. I thought I was making the right choice for you. I never knew I was wrong. Thank God you stood your ground. I have given my consent to proceed with the one you love, the heir to the throne of our Umungene. Come with me so we can make all things right again. There is nothing to add, my in-law. You are indeed a man of words. You summarized everything in just in one presentation. Thank you for coming. You are going now, now, now with her. Just like that, uncle. Without any apologies to you. I mean, to be honest, I, I don't need any apologies from him, but you deserve an apology. Belinda, my daughter, that is where you got it wrong. I did not know of his apologies. Rather, you are the one that needs the apology. And he has rendered a wonderful one. My in-law, once again, you are welcome. You are welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Let's go in. I'm surprised we are conducting this business outside. Let's go in. Let's go. Mm. 
Welcome. You are welcome. Mr. Bobman. Hey, Adam. We are so sorry for what we did. Pico Bagala. Forgive us. God knows why all those things happened. It's okay, mother. I miss my parents. I miss you too. No, no come back. You know what? I prepared your favorite. On ripe plantain with fresh fish. Garnish with tomatoes. And fresh pepper. Are you serious? Just for you. It's okay, I'll go and dish it. Uh, my what of my own favorite? Or am I not the one that went and brought her back? Nani hmm? Mela. Eh? I don't have your time now. Let me go and tend to my daughter. Oh. We are coming. Like daughter, like mother. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> Thank God for everything. <laughs> hey. Oh. Hey, at least peace can be restored. Yeah, I'm so happy you're back. See how you're shining. <laughs> This vacation is so good on you. Well, See how you're glowing. You call that a vacation? Of course. Okay. But girls, I missed you too. I missed you, missed you too. But you didn't try. You just disappeared. I'm sorry. It was a situation of things at the time. But I'm back now. Mm -hmm. So baby girl, give us a gist. Well, the gist is as simple as ABC. You are now mm -hmm. looking at the new queen of Umungene. Are you serious? Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. So you are still getting married to the prince? Of course, wow. and very soon too. I'm happy wow. for you. <laughs> Thank I'm you. Happy for you. And guess what? My once disappointed father is now so excited, he can't even wait. So everything is settled now. Yes. My friend, I am so so happy for you. Thank you. I'm so happy for you. Too. Thank you. Uh, we'll miss you. Uh, and we also have a surprise for you. You remember we told you we are going back for our HND? Mm -hmm. We were offered admission. I am so excited! Oh my it's god, so this so calls happy. for celebration! Yes, 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 it's called for celebration. And we're going to have yes. guest hangouts. Yes, before we her royal majesty. Lives to our husband's house. You are absolutely right. Let me go inside, get my phone, get a bag and change my shoes. Yay! Yeah, we're celebrating! She's, looking like She's so fine. She's so happy for her. She's so happy for her. Honestly, Bissim, I don't understand this. Who is this man and why is he kneeling in front of me? This man has been forgiven by the princess because he has begged her. And according to what he told me, made me to understand that he pleaded with her and she yeah. forgave him. But my prince, please, something is really wrong somewhere. This family is really sinking. I would want you to step in now as the prince. Your father, His Royal Majesty, is Omiligwe the sixth of Umongene Kingdom. I think he has risen against his family. I am begging you, please. Please. Pity this repented brother. Please. You have made me more confused. What connection does this young man have with my father? Huh? Huh? What exactly is going on here? My princess, it's the same thing I begged you before. You have forgiven me, but your father is still angry with my family. We are at the verge of bankruptcy. I have been told that the prince has to pray for me with the crown of the king before the anger of the king will free my family. Well, if it's something you feel like doing, then you go ahead and do it. I have already forgiven him and I have moved on with my life. No, 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 my princess, please. Uh, you see, this thing, you, you, you don't really need to leave it for your brother alone to do. Please. This is a request they, they, they are making from the entire family. And it will take a unanimous prayer from this family to free this man from what he's passing through. I beg you. Hmm? Because the, the father had already paid for his manipulations. And Oga de Panamaka in here on our job. Please, so that he won't suffer too much. Because I'm going to have a funnel. 
Biko. Who is your father? His father was Silas Hilo. Oh. Ngongi <laughs> Oh, if you do, he will be getting married to his woman tomorrow, and we are planning to crown him king the next Ekemakende. Echinka, Echi. My lord, my lord. Oh, oh, oh. I don't have a problem with that. Good. I actually came to find out where you want the connection to take place. Or should we go to the central deity? Or is it going to happen at Ubimbako? We are. So that we know where to set up the occasion. You see, it would have taken place at Bimbako. Had it been it is a different family that will be producing the making. But since he is the prince, the son of the late king, I be very good in any way be able. Eh, the boys no be able to do. Therefore, the ceremony would definitely take place in his father's obi in the palace. That makes everything easy for me. I will set all the machinery in motion, and then on that day, I will come to pick you here by 10 a.m. That is if you will be ready. Uh, yeah? uh, uh, don't worry about myself. No, 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 no. My test is generally open out of it. Yes, for the best of the sky, they can always find their way to any tree, including the greatest of the trees and the river. So I, I, I can, I can, I don't have a problem. I will find my way to the palace. I can always find my way to the palace. But you can. Yes. Yeah. My good friend. Oh, oh, oh. As a crowned prince of Umung in a kingdom, and as the heir to the throne, I decree total forgiveness. I hold this crown over your head. Whatever forgiveness and healing that you seek through this crown 
for that, you shall get. You see, you see. Whatever wave of anger from my father that is crippling the fortunes of your family, may it be reversed after this. You see, you see. So shall it be on Ike Market Day. You see. So shall it be on Ori Market Day. You see. So shall it be with you on our four market day. You see. So shall it be on Onko Market Day. You see. Young man, look at me. I decree here and now that you are forgiven and you shall leave to the fulfillment of your destiny. And you see. Spirit of my fathers, you are forgiven. I know you see. They are with me. Hey, hey, hey. <sighs> Thank you, my prince. Thank you for your benevolent gesture. I will not forget this until I die. Thank you, my prince. I will remain a friend to this royal family. Go in peace. Martins, when did you come back? I'm just coming back. I'm just coming back. I'm so sorry that you have to pass through such experience. Something in me asks me not to marry anyone else. That I still have a chance with the one that I love. I'm very much single. So I came back to know if that chance is still there for me. Oh my God. Because he still remains the only woman that I have ever loved. Please, I still want you to be my wife. <laughs> How beautiful. This is indeed a day of forgiveness and reconciliation. <laughs> if the both of you will oblige me and kneel here, I'd like to say a few words of prayer. In my capacity as the prince and heir to the throne of Omongene, I hold up over your heads the crown of my father. And today, I bless this union. We are indeed thankful for this reconciliation. And for everything happens for a reason and nothing stops God when he moves. Yes. Martins, you have made a beautiful decision by coming back. Thank you. And in my capacity as a prince and the family's representative, I tell you here and now that we shall give Asanze to you as a wife. Mm. After my coronation asking, huh? you and your family are invited. Wow. And every other person is invited. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. You're right. Huh? <laughs> ah, this is indeed a very beautiful day. Yes. All right, uh, this young man, I believe that you're happy. I'm equally happy. And you all are getting me a bit excited and emotional. So we just might have some refreshment. Asanza, ah. over I to you. Know. Ah. <laughs> nice. Yes, yes. Please yes, make yes. yourselves comfortable. Thank you, yes. Thank you very much. Miss Raja Kenemono. Yeah. Whatever thing that we remove from the goat 
to make it edible for human beings. Those things are good for the swine. We are here as humans. We are not swines. And we are here for something big. Whatever town that is close to some people is actually far from other people. Ubudo Telaka, Welendo Dinso. The greatest tragedy that can befall any man is to wage war against his she. Onye bulu she uzo. Babu onye na sa. Today is indeed a great day. Because after the rain comes the thunder. That thunder is why we are here today. To experience the truth. Because today is that day that the truth is going to be established to be bigger than the biggest. As Nana had was a real village of Wadi Kaka. The Bay Kana Moon, yeah. I can a moon, yeah. Can a moon, yeah. Can a moon, yeah. He is a man. As Naka Lagana Lingo. Today is a special day. A remarkable day in the history of Umungene. Mm -hmm. My prince. And now the spirit of my fathers. I know they are with me. As an ayaka like an alien wall, you do a god. If you forget that, much in your own. Mungana Gwenu, yeah, Gwenu, yeah, where's one? Yeah, by the authority of the gods. I hereby crown you as the Omen Kafu of Umungene Kingdom. Igwe! Of Umen! Afam ume, iya de de kwa naoba. Ami ya de afam ume. The same offer I removed here when your father died. Afam ume, the symbol of authority of kings in the Mungene Kingdom. I hereby return him to this palace. Yeah. Symbol of authority. The man Gwenu. Yeah. Gwenu. Yeah. Where's Gwenu? Yeah. Where you going now? Yeah. Thank you very much, Obi. 
was the summer for I return to this palace. You are going to rule us. And you will rule us in accordance with your conviction. According to your conscience. As a man of truth. <laughs> we can get your wife. <laughs> yes. Indeed is filled with joy. Um, a lot would say that they would rule, but I choose to say that I would leave. Mm. <laughs> because in leadership, I am still in service to the people. Obwefi, you have said it all. Obwefi, see what Odogu, Odogu. I hear you. <laughs> it is indeed a new era for Omongene. Mm -hmm. An era of truth, an era of light. I give you all my word that I shall lead you all aright. I shall lead you beyond your imagination. <laughs> if you look to my closest right, you shall see that I have also been blessed. Wow. <laughs> But a beautiful queen. Yeah. 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 Um, my darling, from the moment I saw you, I knew that nothing will alter the love that I have for you in my heart. <laughs> this is not my victory alone. This is our victory, baby. <laughs> I want to say thank you to you in front of my very esteemed elders mm -hmm. in the presence of the people of Omongene. I want to thank you by, for standing by me through these times. Thank you. And I also pray that God keeps you alive so that you can unveil your plan for the women of Omongene. Thank you. <laughs> 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 <laughs>